Welcome back. We are doing all signs, areas, the prices. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, acknowledge, move on. Check your other placements. Check other readers. We don't mind if we share. All right, so I use the pinup deck, pinup girl deck, okay, for your overall energy and did shuffle prior because it can take time sometimes to get one or two cards out and this one wasn't behaving. You guys have the overall energy of the star and the eight. I kind of want to put it this way. Eight and the star, eight of pentacles, hoping that something's working out. So what kind of plan do you have? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? This would tell me that you're working hard at something, like a goal or very focused about something that you're hopeful for. Possibly daydreaming about something working out. So let's see what we get. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Source. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. One more. One more. Oop, two more came out. We're going to take it. And it's the moon. Think about that one for a moment. Let's get one more for thoughts. Okay. And one more for strength. Okay, so not terrible here, really. This person and their thoughts, as far as having something stable or a home or moving in together, this is somebody that wants to take things very slow. They're thinking about the stability between the two of you. They feel like you're on the right path towards it. That's in their thoughts. So if you've brought up moving in together or something on that note, it's not something that they're ready just to jump into, but they're not against it. Their actual feelings, they might feel a little bit of uh, push. <sighs> courage. They need the courage. They don't have it yet. But this is somebody that knows that you want the offer to be out there, that, that you want the security. So they're feeling like, okay, well, we're just kind of like getting a beginning and they might feel like you're you're pressuring a little bit. Now... Their action, as far as, I mean, they've got this beautiful cup, but they're a little bit, not confused, but anxious to, to be willing to offer that. It does seem like they're dragging their feet a little bit. So why are they dragging their feet? Why are they dragging their feet? So what's a blockage? they got issues from the past that they're working to get over. I mean, this doesn't seem that bad. Bad. You got the Nine of Swords reversed and the three three of pentacles i really want this to work out i am putting the effort into here i do want us to have the same goal they're trying to be optimistic about it they also could be still coping from a previous relationship and they still have some embarrassment as far as the the guilt that they had carried uh, in that connection but this does look like somebody that is holding back this much. This would say that you're hopeful that this actually does work out because you're trying to put the work into it. You feel like it should go somewhere, damn it. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got some stubborn cards today. 10 of Wands. The Hanged Man. One more. All right, the queen of bitchiness. Why the ten of, why the ten of wands for this person's thoughts? Okay. Oh boy. Why the hangman? I'm trying to make that so that you guys can see that at least the words. All right, and then why the queen of swords? All right. So in this person's thoughts, they feel like you're kind of. I'm just going to say it like I see it. They feel like you're kind of hard on them. They feel like you're being a little bit patronizing or a little bit domineering as far as their thoughts. Okay. Their feelings are kind of going back and forth. This is somebody that's avoiding any romantic pressure and somebody that's kind of like, Ugh. they feel like you need to be more flexible. This is somebody that doesn't want to come down on another tree yet. It's like they're just kind of waiting, waiting for things to possibly change, waiting, you know, for you to change or, but their action, this is somebody that's, I feel like they're avoiding a conversation that needs to happen. The page versus the queen. I feel like they're looking at you like, I know there's a conversation that we need to have so that things can get cleared up, but they're feeling a little bit, again, with the patronizing feeling. Like you're pushing them to do so or that you want answers and digging for some truth. All right. It's a blockage here. One more. Oh, boy. This nappage. Disappointment. Look at this. I'm not over you. 
This also could have been somebody that went back for a little bit of nookie on the side with an X. I mean, because the Queen of Cups went in reverse. I do tend to think of that person as an X. This can be somebody that is not ready to start anything. Now, if you're the X, they know that a conversation has to happen. Can they be resisting change? Yes. But do they still have feelings for you that are sincere? Iffy. Because upright, yeah, we're sincere, we care, blah, blah, blah. But reverse to somebody that kind of is more emotionally dependent, could be codependency. And now if this is somebody new in your life, they're definitely looking at you like a rebound. So I would be careful if that is an X. How do you see this person if it's an X? How do you see them? All right. There's the hopeful can also be that you feel like they're on a fast track to healing. Just saying. You could be daydreaming that they get their ass over by you quick so that you can have this conversation. You get all three out of four, okay, of the messengers as far as the sword. That's thought. That's having ideas. It's a likely outcome here. Likely outcome. Remains to be seen. Plans need to be made. There is definitely a first steps and communication needed. But I feel like this person is just kind of candy assing it and holding back. And you're kind of wishing they would shit or get off the pot. Bottom of the deck. You're still kind of grieving over this. It's like this person might have walked away from you and you feel like it's a big freaking letdown. And like you don't really want to start over. You're kind of dragging your own damn feet too. It's like do I start over? Is this person going to actually try again? All right. So that's kind of up in the air. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Happy, happy, joy, joy. All right, one more. This person doesn't feel like the two of you are done. They do, They in their mind, something's got to be dropped. Something, it's almost like they want the freedom to be able to talk. So it's like, I, I need, you need to take your blinders off. You need to let me express myself the way I need to. They definitely feel like they could get your attention. They definitely feel like they deserve it. Ooh, this is the one that came out. But we do have this two, uh, Six of Cups. We're just going to leave that there for a moment. So in their mind, they're thinking about doing the right thing. They want things to go their direction. It also can be somebody that knows that if they came your direction, they're kind of dreading consequences. But at the same thing, they want the balance to be there. So in their mind, they're thinking about possibly writing a wrong this is somebody that's like wants you to let go of something from the past so that the the setbacks are gone this can be somebody that could be a little bit critical of themselves or has trust issues or knowing that you do because i mean that's feelings and their actions we have death reverse one more and we get two all right can we get the show on the fucking road? They're ready to move Lady Luck on forward, ready for changes. They want the obstacles out of the way. I do feel like they kind of dwell on the past that's happened between the two of you, but they, they're kind, I'm not, I'm not over this. So it's like, I'm afraid of change, but I know change is needed so that this can go somewhere. So let's see, let's see what your energy is towards this person. I would say that you want to try to rekindle things. But you're kind of iffy on it. This would say that you're having issues trusting this person. Could have been a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. But it's like you are potentially willing to forgive if this person actually makes the choice to do the right thing. This can be that you saw too much. You heard too much. The truth had come out and you're still kind of pining about this with this person. Let's get one, one more for Black Edge. Blockage. Well, that would say that this person doesn't like your norms and traditions. They don't want to be as conventional and they could ignore the fact that you want something that's committed. And that's what could have caused issues with the Six of Cups here. In the past, things had not been committed or they stepped out or they cheated. Just say that. Doesn't have to be, but it's somebody that doesn't conform to the norms and values that they, that they should in a connection. And now they're thinking if they want to be happy, they're going to have to do so. Does this person want to come your direction? Yes, they feel like they can still be successful with you, but something has to be dropped. Like the drama has to be dropped and willing to do it? Yes, because they're not over you. As much as they fear change, 
they want it at the same time. So it's, it's basically, I want the cycle between the two of us, the pattern to break because I don't want, I want things to go forward. I want to be able to talk to you. I want to be able to express myself. It's just almost like they're afraid to do so or they don't think in the conventional way that you do. By the way, at the bottom of the deck, I'm just going to mention that you have the Nine of Cups for this person's energy towards them that you'd be happy to, to at least hear from them. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, I need an emotional break. I need a Kit Kat bar. This person feels like, go fuck yourself, go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm just staying by myself. Chariot. Why the Four of Swords for Thoughts? When they think of, I mean, they're still thinking about you. It doesn't look like you're speaking to them, but they are definitely thinking about the connection. They st they still have feelings. I don't give a shit what they say. One more. I'm, I'm saying that they're lonely and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going to make them happy. They might have felt... I mean, it, there, you got isolation here and wanting a wish to come true. You got wishes up here. But this is your energy compared to, to how they feel. I would say that this person wants to be by themselves right now so they can figure out what the hell they want. They can have an antisocial type of attitude where it's hard to figure them out. And they're trying to they're trying to figure out by themselves what they want, what would make them happy. One more for the chariot. Chariot. Why the six? There, again, with the feeling of not over you and not knowing what the hell to do to make things even between the two of you. I'm determined to try to to get something out of you, to try to get some clarity, um, possibly looking for a handout. It's like, just put your hand out and, you know, talk to me about this. Because it's like, they want to survive this. Are you threatening to kill somebody? Are you? What's the, what's the blockage? What's the blockage? One more. Come here. All right. Okay. So a few came out, just a few. We're going to take them all. The blockage is this person's attitude when it comes to, um, they don't like to be cock blocked, first of all, but they definitely sh show uh, greediness when it comes to actual love. It's somebody that's extremely stubborn, and I mean extremely stubborn, and possibly just giving up on the connection, and it was possibly also just a... Uh, sexually based but this is somebody that drinks excessively goes to uh extremes and they're reckless and they're all over the place somebody that moves too quickly instead of kind of going i have patience this person has no patience when it comes to this no patience at all how do you see them how do you see them all right you're curious if they can be honest. You do want to have this conversation. You want, I mean, the willpower that you have to try to make things hopeful is definitely there. You can also be seeing them as a little bit immature and flirty. Because this would be, oh, fresh ideas. Well, you know, you're either going to block this person or because they're not over you. But it seems like they overindulge in things that they're not supposed to be doing. They're all reversed. So I give up. I have no defenses to control this. I can't change it. I'm going to be a greedy MO and, you know, and then just wasteful, wasteful of time, wasteful of any resources. And this here, it just means like there's, I have no energy for you. I just don't feel like we're on the same page, but that can be them being reckless. All right. We're going to go through the majors and then we're going to grab one from my, what the fofu is the problem deck. Let's see what we got. All right. I feel like all of your energy is just still kind of up in the air. This would be you trying to hope that things would work out and that you're not just being a notch in the belt instead of being flip those cards, hopeless that you're just being used or financially uh, abused. You don't want the abandonment issues. And I feel like you're daydreaming about how to make something work. All right. So we have double star Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Pisces and Cancer again, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Taurus, Leo Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio again, Libra, Leo, and Taurus. All right, then we're going to get one or two from my What the Foo Foo is the Problem deck. 
Don't settle for crumbs and stop ignoring the signs. So if you're if you're got your head up in the clouds, you could be missing something. Maybe get yourself a little bit more grounded. Never settle for crumbs, but with the 8 of pentacles, I no, you're working too hard, you wouldn't settle for crumbs. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Tauruses, okay. So I'm using the pinup girl tarot, all right? Magician popping in there. So for your overall energy, which I did off camera just because it, this deck takes a little bit of time for the cards to flip, you got the girl parts being really pissed at the boy parts, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be parts, the masculine, the feminine, but the queen of swords coming out, this is almost like you're you're taking taking the, the higher ground with your sword, not trusting somebody, like you feel like they've been not honest with you, so you're pissed off. You could be feeling like it's time to come at somebody with a little bit of truth, whether it's cutting or not. But this can be that you're denying feelings for somebody that at the same time you still feel like they should be more responsible, more mature. So let's see what we get. I mean, that King of Pentacles is supposed to be security, somebody that's ambitious, somebody that's kind and fatherly and possibly businessman and financially might have been dropping the ball and but there's definitely a i would like to speak my you're going to hear it from me whether you like it or not i want to speak my piece if you're doing with an aries leo or sag source aries leo sag two came out and look at that queen of swords page of swords the thoughts oh feelings two came out for that right away too okay and action one more for action. Okay. So in this person's mind, they know that they got an ass chewing coming. You see the difference here? She's standing above our little page here. So this is somebody that is possibly curious about what you're going to say to them because they know that you're going to be honest up front and very brutal about it. And basically going... I'm kind of avoiding this. It's almost like they're going, I'm checking out every angle to see what, what you're, you know, it's like they're curious trying to figure it out. What do you really want to know? Why am I going to get my ass chewed this time? And their feelings, they feel like they've been honest and upfront. This person feels like they're diligent. They feel like they're diligent, but their action would say bullshit. This is somebody that might have want more than one option and they're planning on dumping your ass or they already have done so. This is somebody that is selfish. Causing jealousy issues. It looks like you're trying to avoid the drama with this person or you basically want them to bite their damn tongue and, and keep their mouth shut. What's the blockage here? Okay. So they're not offering shit. Patronizing asshole. The Emperor Reversed is somebody that can be a domineering, rigid, stubborn son of a bitch. And with the Ace of Coins here, this would be somebody that is going to miss a chance with you because they see things as scarcity. There's not enough of this and there's not enough of that. They can also be financially really holding back as far as putting uh, in, in a situation as far as like rent and not pulling their weight in a household. How do you see this person? All right, you'd like to make a human piñata out of them, would you? One more. Should we make them a human piñata? Yes, with seven swords, I think we should make them a human piñata. It feels like you're trying to say, basically, I'm sick of your lies. I'm sick of your bullshit. I, you know, I, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for you to be honest with me, and now I just want to hang you up and take a couple swings at you to see if I can get your guts to spill. I want to know what the hell you think. Tired of waiting. I've been sacrificing and you've been, you know, sneaking off and being cunning and being an asshole and not being completely honest with me. This person needs to come clean if they're going to break it off. But I've been honest with you. I don't feel like they've been honest with you, especially if they're looking at a different direction. I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's almost like they're in the first stages of planning a runaway. Human pinata. I think we should make them one of those. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That was quick. All right. One more. Uh, avoiding. Avoiding. Why the thoughts of the magician? Okay. 
whatever they're trying to make happen in their mind, they want to, they, they're basically like pushing you away. They want to stay single. They're ignoring anybody. They're choosing to be alone, but they're working on something. And their feelings, they're, this is somebody that might feel like you're not over them, but constantly like pushing, pushing them for an answer, pushing them for where is our future going to go? And it's looking like you've kind of, you're, you're basically being, holding back as far as your energy. This person's trying to avoid you. One more. What's the blockage? Not good. No. No, 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 no. All right. So I made a bad fucking choice and I was living beyond my means financially and now I'm just taking, it's almost like they chose to go a different direction and bail on you and make you feel like you're abandoned because this person was being reckless and chose somebody else. They made a bad decision and now they're going possibly apology to try to come back to mom or daddy. So they're by themselves. They're thinking about coming your direction, but they know they have to wait. They might in their mind feel like you are just kind of avoiding them like the fucking plague, but this person screwed up royally royally it also could have been somebody that wasn't actually single indecisive about who they wanted to be with that's the feeling of abandonment how do you see this person pinata time again you see them as kind of a coward avoiding any responsibility a queen of wands in reverse is somebody that can be hasty and has a hidden agenda possibly over finances but it's also somebody that can be an attention hole and doesn't consider other people's feelings and unethical and constantly just thinking about the money honey that's a likely outcome god only knows only knows you got the wheel of fortune you're gonna be ready when the time happens but this feels like a timing issue here as far as the outcome I'm not even getting told because it's a fucking mystery yet. You need Scooby-Doo to figure this one out, but it's you're going to have to use your intuition to try to figure this one out because if this person's not talking to you and they're avoiding you and mentally they don't know what the hell they want, not necessarily thinking the two of you are done. They do feel like moving forward, but are they turning their back on you? I don't, I don't like this person's... I, I, we can reconcile. I still have feelings here, but I'm going to sidestep any drama and you're going to have to compromise and you might want revenge. So it's like they got one eyebrow up and don't really completely trust. Well, you don't trust their ass either. That can be an attention hole and somebody that was dr dragging another fucking knuckle dragging buffoon by the hair, you know, just no, no secrets, no bullshit. You need Scooby-Doo. All right. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because it's a mystery. In their mind, in their feelings, their action. Okay, one more for the world. All right, Footloose, Fancy Free, ready to rock and roll. You got a big stiffy heart on for somebody. If you're not talking to them, they're moving on. One more for the Ten of Wands. They don't know what the hell they, they don't know what they want. They want to play. I am so tempted by the fruit of another. I don't want to have any responsibilities. My duty, my, no, I'm too stressed about, I'm, I'm done with the struggling. I'm done with the burnout bullshit. And they're a la carte. And their feelings, they feel that the two of you possibly were just an illusion and they just got a walking heart on for somebody else or whoever. They're keeping secrets about where their do what did is going and in their thoughts, they feel like the chapter between the two of you, you're complete. Like El Dono. So it's like I'm starting over, completely just jumping into something else. So what's the blockage here? I mean, that pretty much is the damn blockage, isn't it? They don't know how to love. They do not know how to love their cold-hearted snake. Definitely a cold-hearted snake. Look at this shit. Flip. Okay there, King of Wands. Can you pull your zipper up? Do you need a... What do you call that? Chastity belt so you behave yourself? This is somebody that can be brutal and vicious and cruel and unethical and takes the do what did he elsewhere, but it's like they have no emotions. Cold. 
How do you see this person? I'm nosy. Cold hot and snake. All right. Stay put. So you feel like this person's been disrespectful. And again, with the feeling of disappointments, that there was no security between you and this person and that they could have gone back to an ex. You got two face cards here. This is like lacking any nurturing. She's not going to nurture this either. You feel like they were possibly dependent on you and just using you for the time being. This would be an asshole. And their action... I'm having a hard time deciding what I want. Well, okay, maybe you need a coach trip and a, and a therapist. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. They might be coming with an apology. I would be very cautious because that would say that you are going to. This is my advice for you from source. Keep your mind, your head, and your heart both very balanced because don't go heart over head. The king of cups is very wise when it comes to emotions. And this would say that you've been let down by this person so much. There ain't no happy home going on here. It's conflict. Domestic conflict. Who the hell wants it? So be careful if you're going to offer this person an apology because it looks like you've gone more than one round with this person. And you would be the one that would have to juggle everything. And be more flexible. Why in the hell should have you have to be a damn slinky for this person if they've been an idiot and doesn't know doesn't know what they want? Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They're moping. In their mind, they feel like they just have to walk away. All right, why the Four of Wands? Who are they shacking up with already? Why the Five of Cups? Okay, they don't feel like the two of you are done. They're afraid of change. In their mind, they still, they're like resisting any changes. And they're, oh, I, poor me. It's all about poor me. Why the nine of wands with feelings? They're, they're afraid of, they're afraid of doing, they're paranoid about you possibly wanting to try to work things out. They could be paranoid about what, partying? I don't think so. This is somebody that doesn't trust friendship. They don't trust f connections. But this seems to me like somebody that's trying to get in back a home with somebody. They're playing shacking up with somebody else. What's the blockage? And that could have been a third party. I hate to say it. So the blockage is this person's possibly getting their... It's like they're... They're more aware after their little pity party. They're kind of accepting the fact that the two of you just weren't working out. But they didn't, they lack, lack, lack teamwork. That's somebody that didn't really want things to go anywhere. They're thinking about how the fuck they broke your heart and you're not over their ass. But here, the bottom of the deck, this would say it's time to move on from this person and run them over with your chariot. I do feel like it's human pinata time. Yeah, stand your ground. Because are you done hearing from this person? Probably not. They got a major attitude. This is somebody that I'm asserting that I belong on the, the couch of so-and-so. But they... Your energy is saying, I'm out of here. I'm moving on to something smoother. I'm going to make sure that I understand. The next person that gets in my life, ooh, you're protecting yourself. And then you got the eight of coins. So it's like, I'm working on me. I'm working on, I have higher standards now after having met you. But this is basically, I think that they're thinking about how they've hurt you. There's possibly some regret, remorse. But they know you're not over them. I think they're resisting anything. Well, we just didn't work out. This is somebody that's paranoid about you possibly hitting them up about getting back together. And could have been a third party. But, well, you know, I'm I'm choosing something else. I'm a little more motivated than I had been. But they're probably hoping you get over them. But I'm thinking that they're shacking up with somebody else. Like they're in a big fucking hurry to get under somebody's roof. I, I don't like it. All right, so we're going to get Majors called up for you, and then we're going to get two from the What the Foo Foo is the Problem deck. Let's call it your Majors. Scorpio. Libra. Taurus. Pisces, Cancer. Aries. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. Blah, 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 blah. Gemini. Virgo. 
Aries. Look at that. I, I mean, these two cards right here, I would love to take all these swords and just go poof, and see how long they can spin and what they're going to spit out of their mouth. Or if they'll break in half. All right, two from the what the foo. Get up, get ready, and slay the day. Don't, or you say you don't care, yet you, sp you spy. Are you spying? Invading privacy? I want more. 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 Someone has a horrible attitude. Could be me. <laughs> All right, guys. That's what we have for you. And on we go. Geminis. All right. We're using the pinup girl deck. Looks like a bunch of girls. All right. Sorry if you don't like girls. That's okay. But your energy, your overall energy, you have the three of wands and the king of wands reverse. The three of wands is looking into the future. Anticipation also can be missing somebody, but it's almost a card of waiting for the ships to come in. Are you waiting on somebody that acts like a large child? Somebody that's pouty? Somebody that's not honest? Somebody that uses just for sex? Or that lost the desire between the two of you? Somebody that could have been a just a player, a cheater, plays games, a manipulator. But are you waiting? What are you waiting? Why would you wait? Bottom of the deck that I chose for you, we have the lovers. Could be waiting for you to, to make this person and make up their damn mind. Ready to run them over with your chariot. But you still have feelings for them? Let's see what we got. If you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Three of Swords, one more. Judgment. So this person's holding back right now. It's like they're trying to give you a little breathing space. They are thinking about trying to, you know, bring this back together. One more for the three. And boy, are they... Oh, they know they have pissed you off. This is somebody that either lied to you, hurt you. This person could be numbing, thinking, drinking, but they're not moving. They're afraid to move. They're afraid of what you're going to say or do, possibly afraid of being cut out. Their action is judgment. One more. This is somebody that wants to stick up for this connection. They still have feelings for you, but boy, do they feel afraid of your ass. What's a blockage? Eight of coins, the fucking lazy. And the page of wands. So we take these two and we reverse it. There again, possible flirtation. Possible person that was a little bit of an instigator could have been treating you like it was a notch in the belt. I hate to say it that way, but you got a larger version right there. So... This would say that you have lost interest in this person or they lost interest in you and that you were just another notch in the belt and they have emotional ADD. How do you see this person? How do you see them? Came out kind of sideways. We're taking a six of cups. You give love a bad name. Why are you worried about this person? This would say you're stuck in your head about this person. Nine of swords. I'm, I'm losing sleep. I'm anxious. I'm nervous. Six of cups. Are they coming back or not? Do you want this person back? What's the likely outcome? Because I'm nosy. Likely outcome. Seven of Swords. If this person tries to come back, you'll be fooling. This is telling you to be more honest, brutally, brutally honest with yourself. Are you lying to yourself? Was this something that it's like you, you're going to end up, something's going to happen that is going to be what you don't expect, like someone try to get one over on you? possibly get this person could be possibly getting up the nerve to confront you but are they full of shit are they lying this is somebody that's almost like no it's true it's they're very defensive why do they need to be so defensive what are they what are they hiding that they need to be so defensive <sighs> the seven of wands is somebody that can see you having your walls up and that you're not an easy target and that you're fighting for the this they're fighting for the connection but feeling like you're closed off they might have a hell of a lot of work to go through, but oh, what did they do? I'm blinded. I cannot see straight. What did they do? All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of coin. Queen of wands. Ace of coins. All right, one more for the seven of coin. The world. Page of Swords. This person's wondering if you're interested in them. 
Okay, so somebody that you aren't aware of possibly, this is somebody that wants a new beginning. It's like, do I or don't I? It's kind of like a now what? So they're thinking about you as, could there be potential here? And their feelings, they feel a little bit intimidated possibly. They might feel like you're getting attention from other people. Their action is trying to be optimistic. This would be somebody that's trying to put a smile on their face while they're trying to get an opportunity with you. How do you see them? Or do you see them? How do you see this person? I came out sideways. You got the nine of wands. You're a little bit guarded. Why? Why? Ace of swords. You want somebody to be truthful and honest with you. And it can be that, no, if this is somebody from the past, you're not necessarily buying the bullshit. Because the Eight of Cups, if you're feeling the Eight of Cups, you feel like this person possibly abandoned you. You want to stab them with a knife. You see her knife? I want the truth, and I'm not tolerating nothing. My back's up against the wall. So did you have this person's now trying to come back, but they're curious and watching you. Can we start again? Can we start over? Do you feel like all is lost, or can we try to work from... Well, they got some work to do. What's the blockage if it's somebody from the past? One more. You lost the faith in this person. They could have been juggling you. Somebody that dropped the ball. You weren't playing their juggling game anymore. Loss of hope. Loss of faith. Three of wands. Somebody that misleads you. Possibly already in another connection. They don't put a lot of an effort into things. It can be like you feel like it's a lost cause or that you were being used as a place marker. I don't like that, any of it. If you're single and this person's coming at you, it would look good. We would leave all of this other out except for this, which would tell me that, singles, if you've just moved on from something else, you, you kind of got your back up with trust issues. And I mean, you would be open to starting things, but you are leery because of somebody else hurting you and being possibly a cheater. So take it how it resonates. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Empress. Isn't she pretty? The King of Pentacles. And the Fool. Why the Empress for thoughts? No fortune. Okay. Boom. Okay, so this person feels like the ball, the ball's in your court right now. What's a blockage? Two of swords. You basically told them that you weren't taking any more shit and they needed to change their damn attitude. This is not tolerating anything. This is making the decision. So the decision and they're not, they're not ready for this to be done. But death reversed is refusing to change. One more for the refusing. One more for death reversed. High priestess. <sighs> Hiding crap. Made a bad choice, went a bad direction, and you said enough. You called them out, whether you had proof or not. This would say that they avoided giving you any more information than you already had. But that's somebody that's stepping out. This person, they want to change and possibly start over. What's the likely outcome? Four of Cups. I don't think you're interested. They have to have a bigger apology than the Page of Cups. You got the Four of Cups is basically being, I'm not interested in this shit anymore. I, I feel like you're bored with the situation. Like you wouldn't even pay attention to it. So, and their thoughts... This is somebody that wants to change between the two of you, but it could be a timing card as well, waiting to nurture this connection, but in their mind, in their mind, their actual feelings, this is somebody that's going back and forth, two of wands, I have to make a choice, I'm at a crossroads, do I want to be responsible for this other person's love and for, for them and supply them everything that they need, because the king of pentacles would be doing that, and this person's kind of iffy, can be somebody that has, uh, let's say, you could have had the same vision, but they see, it's like they're trying to strategize about the future with you. But with the tower here, shit had gone down or is going to be going down and they're going to possibly make a fool of themselves. We'll say that much too, but they want to start over. I don't think you're interested. 
you're still hurt, you're still kind of missing the boat on anything coming your direction because you don't want to see it. Let's get a cut. Devil. Devil. That's not a good looking devil either. You feel like this has been toxic. Not interested in the toxic crap. All right. So that one's going to be bull in your court. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The Hanged Man. The Knight of Cups. The Three of Coins. Why the Hangman for thoughts? Hermit. Okay, right off the bat, this person basically is kind of withdrawn. And in their mind, they're kind of avoiding any romantic pressure. Why the Knight of Cups for feelings? They feel like this is just a, a loss. They're, they're taking it as a loss. Why the three? One more. They're only willing to... Their, their action is basically staying to themselves. Four of Swords. I'm taking a break. I don't want to talk to you. The best of you're getting from me in the future and moving forward is friendship. Do we, we want to use them as a human pinata? Yes, we do. How do you see this person? You have patience for this shit? Do you really? King of Swords reversed can be like the biggest, second biggest manipulation card in the deck. This would be somebody that is very cold, very no patience, irrational, ignoring logic. Are you ignoring your logic and you want to try to make peace with this person? You're going to have patience while they try to heal? What's the actual blockage for this person? What's their damage? They don't trust love. They do not trust love. Look at this. So we take the lovers reversed and the ten of cups. We take the blockage and reverse it. This is somebody that doesn't trust a union. And it can be because of a fresh breakup, which can be you. But this is somebody that they don't want to be in a connection. They don't trust anything. So in their mind, they're kind of avoiding it. And you're trying to be like, okay, it's just, a, you know, okay, can't you just flip this one up? Where it would be, I'm very stern and I don't just hand out my heart to anybody. Where the, This guy here is majorly standing off, shitty with communication, ruthless, will not back down, will not change their mind at all. And you want to wait for them? We can make things work. I don't think they want, I don't think they want to because moving forward, could have been three's a crowd too. I, all I have to offer you moving forward is friendship. Putting the work into very itty bitty little, so it's like I'll answer you, but that's about the best that you're gonna get. I, they're they're walking away from love. How they feel? It's a loss in my emotions. Yeah, I, mm -mm. and this is not an apology that's gonna end up going nowhere. This is somebody that is holding back. They're walking away and going, guess that, you know, it's my loss, whatever. So be it, fine, fuck it. They might have some regrets and some guilt because that Nine of Cups, they might regret with it, you know, what's happened between the two of you, but they're not doing a damn thing. This is two cards. Not going anywhere. Not, don't want me to, you know, don't want, don't push me romantically. I'm not having it. I will go right back into my girl or man cave, whichever it be. This would say that you're still to see a future with this person. Don't wait. Make them a human pinata and knock the shit out of them and maybe you'll get some answers. But they're not being completely honest with you. All right. Let's call out the majors and then we'll get two from the Fufu deck. We have Pisces, Cancer, Virgo. Gemini. Sagittarius. Scorpio, Aries. Scorpio, Heavily. Libra Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, and up there, just some fire, fire, lots of fire, all right, two from the Foo Foo deck, let's see if we get a, what was that shit seriously necessary, oh my god, be the hunter, not the prey, be the hunter, not the prey. So if you need more answers, 
I don't know why you're being called out about something being, maybe that's this person. Was their shit really necessary? I don't know. Somebody's definitely got you irritated. But this energy here, don't wait for a large child to talk to you because they're going to act, they're going to act immature. They're going to make you feel inept. And it just seems like you're, you're waiting. You're going to be waiting in vain if this person's going to act like a large child and won't grow up. They're like a fucking forever Toys R Us kid. All right, that's what we have for you, Jemmies, and I'm going to go. Cancers, my Krabby Patties, we are using the Pin Up Girl deck for your overall energy. I did it off camera first. You have the Ten of Wands and the Empress, so it can be a Libra or Taurus that you're dealing with, but it does look like you're having a very hard time trying to nurture, so nurture a connection. Ten of Wands is being burdened, still having baggage, having a hard time, Feeling like you're responsible for everything. Waiting for some fucking relief. But the Empress is this beautiful nurturing card. It looks like you're having a hard time thinking about if you would nurture connection or if you're going to get the respect that you deserve. If you were dealing with Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, source their thoughts. Do they have any? Apparently not. Okay, there we go. Thoughts, Queen of Wands. Oh, you're sexy and stuff. Even with some spiders on your face. Feelings. Oof. One more. Five of Swords. Why the Tower for Feelings? Eight of Cups. Holy shit sticks. Let's just get why the Queen of Wands for Thoughts. Eight of Wands. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so this person is an asshole. Can we just say an asshole? Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. If you're not talking to this person, they are putting the moves on somebody else. Very sexually enticed by them. The Eight of Wands is fast action. All right, sorry guys. I got interrupted for Ina Momento. What is the blockage here? Knight of Wands. Well, that ain't good. And the Six of Pentacles. This was being breadcrumbed. The blockage is they like to use people. Knight of Wands reverse is the the player card it's mixed signals it's somebody that can be narcissistic it's somebody that's vain it's somebody that's unreliable impatient their plan of action is the five of swords i'm gonna walk away and be single i'm just gonna get it. it's almost like they're trying to cause an argument so did they cause an argument and things with you and now they've in their mind they're heading in a different direction with their do what diddy how do you see this person well that's pretty obvious Actually, we'll put it this way because you can read it a little bit better. Even if you're not a terror writer, it's kind of like, fuck you, devil. You toxic bastard. Not dealing with this anymore. So you're you're basically saying, if you want to go at it, I'm not playing your games. I'm not dealing with the competition that you've got going on with me and another person. So what's the likely outcome here? What is the likely outcome? Three of Swords. This person is just, it's almost like they're going to just end things, period. They put you in a potential. They're going to hurt you. They're going to hurt you. This is somebody that can't play well with others. They are not an asset to class. And you basically know that this person is toxic, argumentative, toxic. It's almost like they feel like they have to defend their, their territory or lie to you about shit. This is not somebody that you can trust. And they're look at this. For their feelings, I'm just walking away. I feel like this isn't going anywhere. I'm out of here. Turn my back. Boom. Done. They feel like it's over. So if you aren't talking to this person and their thoughts, they got the hots for somebody. You tell me. That would definitely say that you're having a hard time because you were not respected. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Chariot reverse. Caught that one. All right, Queen of Coin and Page of Pentacles. Why the chariot reversed? Judgment. This person feels hopeless that they're going to ever be able to get back under your good graces. They're they're definitely going to be talking to a friend about you, possibly thinking about an apology. They're just trying to figure out what way to come your direction and how to go about it. So they might be talking to one of your friends saying. You know, like they want to learn and figure you out. How how can I approach cancer? But in their mind, 
this is somebody that's kind of a candy ass as far as an apology or trying to do the right thing. They feel like they have really been a letdown and they still consider you somebody that's reliable. They still consider you somebody that is that had nurtured it, but now they're kind of hopeless that they're going to be able to get you back. So what's the damage here? Six of swords. They walked away in the first place, and now they want to come back. They can't just come and go anytime they want to. This person has a tendency to do what? 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 Overindulge in things that aren't healthy. Argue. Cause fights. Drinking. Screwing too much. The wrong person screwing too much, possibly. But this is like a, I come and go as they please. I come and go as I please. And they know they're, they're going to be judged. But it's going to have to be it's like the ball's in your court with this one. Temperance reverse is somebody that can be very argumentative and things just weren't working. So they, they bail. How do you see this person? All right. You're, you're calling it a day. You don't want to hear their excuses anymore. See, look at, look at that. Look, look, look. She's had enough. She said, I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. I'm done looking at you. It's like this is a setback. You have trust issues with this person, and then you're basically saying it's call. I, I've had enough. It's done. It's over. You're not coming back. But I do feel like keep them, keep an eye on your friends. Make sure that if they're don't let them talk to this person. They have to come right to you. They're a little hopeless ass. Because you're the what breadwinner? I would be cautious with that person because are they financially using? Very potentially, yes. I don't think you want this. It's like you caused me bad fucking memories. I don't really want your ass back. Nine of Swords. Are you worried that they're going to make an attempt? Because this would be sleepless nights and getting all anxious in your mind doing 90 miles an hour. Do you want this person's attention? Because I would say they caused you some definitely uh, stomach acid coming up in the back of your throat. Heartburn. Okay. All right. If you are dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Water sign source for my crabby pet days. Oh my god, are they stubborn? Holy crap. Today, today, today. Ten of Cups reversed. The Hermit. Mm. And the Fool. Why the Ten of Cups reversed? This person's thinking that you. Now I'm just, just saying here. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. This person's thinking that you are done with them, that you have booted them out, and they feel like they don't want to be confronted. In their head, you don't want to be confronted. There's a major not getting along going on here. They also might have thought that you were screwing around on them and that they have proof they could be pointing the finger at you. Why the hermit for feelings? All right. This person's starting over. They're basically taking a romantic or relationship hiatus. They feel like it's time for a change. This is somebody that's basically starting over from ground zero. What's the blockage here? So we take the blockage and we flip it. This is somebody that got restless and wasn't sticking up for this connection anymore. Seven of Wands, when it's upright, would be defensive and closed off when it's reversed it's like i feel vulnerable and you are not respecting my personal space and my boundaries are this and now you feel defeated by it and you feel like you've lost the battle and can't win but feeling restless about it one more for blockage two of swords it seems like you had a hard time making a choice so they they did for you I don't want to see it. I mean, we're going this way with it. Choice made for you. A difficult choice made, made for you. Giving up. Feeling restless. This feels like this person in their mind, the two of you are done. They possibly have a little fancy on the side. How do you see them? Ooh. All right. Yeah, you don't trust this person for shit. This would be saying that you feel like they do whatever the fuck makes them happy and that it makes you feel anxious. Tired of uh, this person hiding their... It's like it's got you confused. It's like, I'm confused. You want to be happy and yet you're antagonizing me? This is also somebody that can be very patronizing. Do you really want them in your life? 
You got the hair font. Do what's best for yourself. Take your time. Take your time. But this would be learning a lesson. And the Nine of Pentacles takes their time. Nothing to move slow in on. If you're still thinking about trying to get this person back, I would be leery. I would be careful. A two of Swords could be that they chose between you and another person. But they gave up on this. Didn't respect the boundaries and they got all restless. Doesn't have to, to mean that they necessarily did anything. But it almost feels like they're accusing you of being the one to have caused this connection not to work. And they're taking an emotional vacation where they don't want to be bothered. With they're withdrawing and they're just feeling that's the way it needs to be right now. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nine of Wands. The world. What is with the bad Jew, Jew of Cups? Sorry, why the Nine of Wands? Page of Swords. It's of hello, bite my nipples. Okay. What's the blockage here? Caution. This is somebody, it feels like a little on the newer side because they're feeling like they want to bite your nipples. They definitely sexually desire you, but this is like a new beginning. In their thoughts, they're still defending and watching somebody else. This feels like somebody new coming into your life and they're still stuck on their ex. And I say that because the Queen of Cups reversed for me is an ex of some sort. And the King of Swords reversed is like master manipulator cold and shallow and has no patience at all so what they have no patience for their fucking ex why do we even have to worry about this so they're watching and they're guarded they got their back up but they're somebody that has like some dry wit could have a chip on their shoulder get you know has the idea that the two of you would make a good pair i don't know are you interested Let's see what you think of them and a source, well, you might be well aware of that. And two of wands. Okay, person. Yeah, you know, maybe you should just slow your roll a little bit. You got the ten of swords. You just had an ending. Are you really ready for a new beginning? It's the outcome. Nine of swords. I mean, that's needing more courage to be able to plow through this problem. They're still kind of edgy and... If they feel the need to watch their ex, why? Unless there's children involved. But this is somebody that wants, they feel like putting the two of you into a connection would be good, but they're in a little bit of a hurry. And it's almost like they're kind of uh, a little bit of payback. See, nanny, nanny, boo boo, somebody actually cares about me type situation. And this moving forward, nine of swords all up in your head and holding back or needing courage. Ace of Cups, but it is new love. So are you ready for a new relationship with somebody that's going to kind of leave you in the midst of, I don't want to, it's like, I want to be in a connection, but I don't want to be in a connection. They're going to leave you waiting, waiting. Need to untie those feet there. Flip them upside down, first of all, because it's sh it should be this way. Hanging, hanged man. But, I mean, we could make a human pinata of this person if they're still stuck on their ex. Because why in the hell should they care? If this is too fresh, then they're not ready. The two of pentacles, this would say you're not playing their game. If they're going to be with their ex, be with their ex. And if they're going to be wanting to... You're not going to be flexible with this. It's like you either open up emotionally or forget it. Because at the bottom of the deck, you have the king of pentacles. I want somebody that I know what to expect things from that actually acts like an adult. I want a sense of security. And this feels like somebody that's still a little bit stuck on their ex and kind of a little bit of drama. It's like they're stuck on drama. I mean, you're ready to move things forward, but with the Ten of Swords, they have to be done. You're kind of like, be done or don't be done. You could be seeing them watch or stalk on social media or liking their exes, whatever, and you're kind of going, why? Why do we need to do this? Especially with this energy here. That King of Swords can be a real jackass somebody that is extremely extremely bad at expressing themselves and it can be somebody that is manipulative or this person was manipulated by their ex and that's why they're a little on edge it does look like it can move forward but it it would be uh, a little sticky let's just say a little sticky all right we're going to call it the mangers for you so that can be getting the respect that you deserve but it's going to be slow in the coming coming around 
So let's see what we got. Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio again. Look at that devil. I mean, so seriously, that was funny that that came out that way. I can't help it, Capricorn. Have to have a little fun here. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Virgo, we're going to get two. Pisces, Cancer. Aries. Aries again. Pisces and Cancer. Two from the What the Foo Foo deck for you guys. One, two. Here, oh, three. Have you had sex lately? Grouch. Somebody's holding back. And you're surrounded by idiots. Well, you know, sorry, but cancers evidently get surrounded by idiots, at least emotional idiots. That's what we have for you, and on we go. Leos. All right, we're using the pinup girl deck. Ace of Cups. Very nice. Let's keep that in mind. I actually want to take that one out. All right. So, prior to turning back on the video, I drew for you. So, it seems like you're kind of, you got the five swords in the star. I'm putting your energy up here. This can be feeling like you are self-sabotaging your own hope or you're fighting for healing. And possibly, this is possibly just the need to actually love yourself. But that five of swords, you could have had some major bitter, defeated, trickery, cool, uh, cruel and argumentative low blows and you're trying to heal from it. So let's see what we got. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo or a Sag, Taurus. All right, thoughts, feelings. Okay, why the Seven of Cups for thoughts? This person is thinking that you do not want to deal with them. They feel like everything's all up in the air. This person, you've got them confused as hell. This can be somebody that you are not ghosting them, but just kind of ignoring them. How they actually feel. Ooh, we got some regret and guilt, possibly. And now they're kind of at a now what? Because this is somebody that would like to apologize, but they're still going over it in their head. Do I do this or not? Do I do this or not? What is the blockage? They didn't want to be responsible. And this is somebody that thinks that they can just come on back. If they're not responsible, why would they even want to come back? This can be somebody that wastes money, that is greedy, that is materialistic, and it's all about themselves can be also somebody that stepped out into a different direction with a different ho 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 just saying how do you see this person you're holding back you see them clearly you would like to be happy and then you have hope you still have faith in this connection it just you could be teaching them a little bit of a lesson kind of like uh is it worth it? Don't waste my god dang time. But this person's got some regrets. And this is somebody that is kind of weighing the pros and cons about coming your direction with an apology because they still have feelings for you. Now, you're, you're the only one that's going to know. But, I mean, look at the majors for how you see this person. Holding back, possibly trying to heal the connection so that you can be happy. That is success. I want to be successful. I want to heal. I would like to see. So are you daydreaming about them and how, how they had made you happy? I mean, their action, they're still going back and forth. But in their mind, you don't want to talk to them. Like you've kind of, you're like, I'm better off alone. Screw this shit. And okay, everything's all up in the air. Do you want this person back? Possibly. Is there still hope? Yes, there is. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Passion pony. Passion. Really love your peaches. Wanna, ooh, shake your trees. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I can't sing for shit, but you guys get the idea. Oh, hello. Hello, happiness. This person, in their mind, you're hot. You're, like, energetic, and they definitely want your attention. They're like, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. They're very, they're feeling like you, they see you as somebody that is very confident. How they feel, like there's dust on my table. They feel like the movement and speed and the progress, they want it to go fast so that you know, with the outcome of wanting to be happy. How do you see this person? They want to be happy. They could have a dry sense of humor, but they do seem like they're balanced out or fair. How does this move for forward? Ba -dum -ba -dum. Well, look at that. So that's getting respect. 
looks like taking this opportunity, this does feel like a new beginning. You might not see it yet. You might not have met this person yet. It could be a fucking mystery, Scooby-Doo. But this is basically saying you could be a little bit guarded with this person. They could have a little bit of a dry wit, but they would be honest. This is giving this person the opportunity. It's like, okay, I'll give you a handout if you're even with me, but getting respect that I deserve, and damn it, it's a new beginning. Looks nice. I mean, this is brand new, fresh, single energy. If this is somebody from their past, they're thinking that you might be getting attention from other people. They still feel the need to come forward and take any barriers out of the way. So this is suddenly messaging you, possibly, but it's like, I want my wish to come true. Well, this is wishes too. It also can be promises that had been broken and now trying again. Especially with judgment being here. Take it all resonates or stuff it up here. Toodly doodly. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or you can tell me to stuff it up my doodly woodly. Okay. This person feels like you are a bitch. A forceful one. Somebody that, oh my gosh. Well, I don't really like that shit. And their thoughts. They feel like there's a hidden agenda. They might feel like you're a controlling, conceited person. Why? Why the Seven of Wands? Ooh. No. Don't buy this shit. This is somebody... Okay, if they've got negative thoughts about you, piss on them to begin with. Let them bully somebody else. This is. I mean, this is not a magic pair here. And if they're thinking that and they want to, I'm standing up and I'm digging my heels in because this is my home. Well, then I'll fucking move out. Because right here, this is somebody that the connection is toxic. But it's almost like they can't, they can't help but want you. What the hell is, like they're dependent on you? What's the blockage? Two came out. The Tower and Temperance. Okay. So let's just start with temperance. This is somebody that likes to overindulge, can be very overly reactive and addicted to fucking drama and very, very impatient. And they cause endings. Boom. Shit show. Disaster. And then they put themselves in this. Okay. They put themselves in. This is blockage again. I want to be by myself. Why don't you just piss off? So they overreact to things. They could be a drinker. They could be a lot of different things. That Anything to an extreme, whether it's just a temper, over drinking, over screwing, whatever it is. But this is somebody that walked away because they got, this just isn't fucking working and threw a little hissy fit. In their mind, they might feel like you were the one that was acting immature. But in my mind, they're acting immature. But they can't help you. <sighs> They still have feelings for you, so you should take me back because I'm dependent on you emotionally. You have, buddy, you missed your fucking chance to be in a connection with me. You still have feelings, too, but you're sick of the drama. This is an attempt at a reconciliation. There's the five up there. Here's the five here. So your energy is still kind of getting a little bit bitter and de defeated and kind of like a screw you shit. And I'm walking away from this. But this is that person coming back around, but they're not offering a shit low, but you have feelings for them. This will be a bad investment. I know it's not a good idea, but I still have feelings for them. Well, then that would put you in a codependent uh, position as well. Because, I mean, look at this. I'm trying to get you back. I want to have you back. I'm balancing my heart and I'm going to make this better between the two of us. And I'm, I'm thinking with my head and my heart to make my decision. But they're codependent on you. And they think that the two of you, it's almost like when you're really, really good together, you're on this way. Power couple. And then when the shit hits the fan, you both have attitudes. No, not Leo. Hey, I'm an Aries. Don't, don't think I'm playing you. Trying to rip on your ass. When we get pissed, fire signs, wow, watch out. Because we can get pretty vindictive if we are pushed to that. It's like, I might have a long wick, but once you light that fucker on fire, it's like TNT. And this looks like a power couple that has kind of lost their way and are going to find each other again. Bottom of the deck, you get the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, there is a sense of st st stability in all that mess. There's just got to be... A little less bullshitting around and ghosting and 
abandonment. It causes issues. It causes struggles between you. And it's going to end up being a problem if the two of you can't get on the same page. When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Ouch. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're thinking they're not over you. They're thinking, how can I survive with... Oh, my God. It's so terrible without my Leo. Oh. They, they think that in the future, you just don't want to talk to them. They're just going, fine. You don't love me anymore. But they're spying on you. They feel like it's their obligation to be curious about you and to keep tabs on you. Well, I feel like what? Oh, they're going to just continue to be an asshole. I'm not talking to you, my emotionally cold. What's the blockage? Oh, okay. Well, now that one gets reversed. Ugh, who got busted? This is the need to come clean. This is somebody that needs to be honest. They could have been busted in possibly another connection or screwing around. Anything that does not fit into tradition. One more for Black Edge. That goes that way. Did you not want to see it? Because this would tell me that this person, we go this way for blockage. I don't want to, it's like you're trapped. Don't play the victim. Don't let them play the victim either. If anybody's going to be playing the victim, it's this person here. Woe is me. I'm not over you. You don't love me like you used to. You're cold towards me. Oh, I can't stop feeling my head is just going in 90 miles an hour and I'm so anxious and negative and I'm watching you spying on you because I feel like I need to know what you're up to. But their action is going to just continue to be an asshole. This can be somebody that's a gaslighter. I would be very careful. How do you see this person? How do you see them? <clears throat> Okay, so what came out is you want to use this, who had the human pinata? I think it was Taurus. Go back and watch for that one. This is somebody that's patronizing. They're a tyrant. They're an asshole. They're rigid. They're stubborn. They sit there and emotionally, they push you away. Like they don't want to deal with any drama, but they're the drama. Unreliable. I'm disconnected. I'm preoccupied. But this is somebody that's like they have no direction and they aren't offering what you actually want. And then they turn into an asshole. A class A asshole. They can storm off and walk away. But this is somebody that bullies. I don't like bullies. And holding back. It's almost like they're uh, afraid of emotional pressure. No shit. I mean, you got the page in here and the king of swords. That's being a cold little bastard. And I'm not talking to you. Oh, that's not how you're feeling. You might be doing that, but that is not how you're feeling. This can be because you've basically said, take your immature ass elsewhere. I'm not, you left in the first place. You lack discipline. You lack brains. I've had enough. Like, I'm willing to sacrifice. Snip you anyway. I mean, wow. All right, let's go through the majors, and then we're going to get the Fufu deck out and grab two for you. Okay, Taurus, Libra. I've had too much coffee. Go with it. Leo, Leo, you got a lot of your own energy. Uh, the Star, you have a lot of Aquarian energy. Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Good luck with that power couple. Oh, because when you love, you love fierce, but holy crap. Capricorn. Scorpio. It's like, I love you, I light you on fire. Oh my God. Oh, big fest. And then you have Sagittarian energy there. All right, two from the, what the foo. Stop people pleasing. Don't do that. You fell for their lies again. Oh, don't do that either. One more. You need... To be the change you want to see. Oh, that's always true. But don't fall for bullshit. And Leo's, no, 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 no. You guys are giving and giving and giving. And it's time to actually give yourself some hope right here. Hope and self-love. Taking care of mama or daddy first. You should put yourself first. Don't let somebody try to snowball you. 
brainwash you into thinking that they deserve a second chance if that is not what you want. So because of that, if somebody is blocking you right now, if they reach out, already have the decision in your head how you want to react. If you want that person back and you think you can make it work, great. If not, be smart about it. All right, Leos, that's, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. No more nagging. On we go. Virgos. Okay, so we are using the pinup girl deck, eight of cups, which kind of goes with the rest. I shuffled before turning that camera back on. You have the six of cups reverse the devil and the four of cups. So this would tell me that you're not going to be interested if the past comes a calling. Not feeling the same way about somebody that you did in the past, but you got the devil. That's toxicness. And this would be saying, I'm not interested in this shit. I will ignore you if you come back around and try to fuck with me. With a cut, you have... What makes me happy makes me happy, but um, Eight of Swords in it, it's like, I'm not going to be, st are you stuck on what makes you happy? Are you stuck in the past? Let's not do that shit, because this would be a blindfold with the woman that can't get anywhere. Not a good, not a good feeling. All right, so you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Temperance reversed. This person's got a little bit of a temper. How they feel, paint your cups. Two of Wands, they need to make up their mind. Why right? Temperance reversed? Oh boy. Ah. This is somebody that could be using you as a placekeeper. Just saying. They're looking for a change, but at the same time, oh, I'm sorry that I caused so much deception and bitterness and fighting and bullshit, but in their head, things aren't working out, so they're just screwing whoever the hell they want. Ah. The blockage is they're fucking immature as hell. And they want to be alone. Like, they're choosing to be alone. I want no toothbrush that is not my own in this fucking house type attitude. This is choosing to, to isolate. Like, I come by you for some nookie, and then I'm out the damn door. How do you see this person? You're trying to be semi-optimistic. This kind of came out more reverse, but we're just going to take it this way and say, Nine of Wands would be that you're kind of guarded. Nine of Wands is that feeling of, I have to be a tough cookie. I have to have my heart closed off. My back's up against the wall. You're protecting yourself and shouldn't have to feel that way or shouldn't need to feel that way, but you, you do. One more. On the Nine of Coins, you feel like you're going to end up by yourself if you go this direction. Three of Coins, you still want to try? This would say if you go with the flow and just let things fall into place, you're still focused on something that, you know, might not be going anywhere. If you, this person needs to drop their damn attitude, first of all, and they need to be more mature. Let's get one for likely outcome. Because with the three pentacles there, that would be telling me that you are focused on trying to kiss this person's ass and basically, oh, you're my long-term goal and I want to be supportive of you. Why? It's likely outcome. It's confusing me. Six of wands. Well, that's attention. In it to win it. Getting over, no, that's getting the attention. I do feel like this person might have either a drinking problem, they give up too easily, they cause, like they're addicted to drama. So just be a little bit on the cautious side, but right here, the outcome, I'm coming your way. I still feel like we can work through this. We can get over this hump in the road and I want your attention. I still am confident that the two of us can make this work. I would feel like they're going to reach out, but it, it's somebody that it's almost like they're fighting for it. I'm fighting to get you to take my apology. And damn it, things are going to change. Well, if they choose a different path, can it change? Yes. Do you have a little bit of bitter memories about this person? Oh, yes. But is it hard to be addicted to them because they're good looking or whatever the case? Yes. Yes and yes. Now you have the three of wands. That's waiting. That's possibly the separation between you and somebody else and then anxiously awaiting them to be coming back and that you're, you're missing them. Caution. Be careful. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Cups. I'm out. This person in their mind 
they've been rejected or they're just walking away. King of Wands. Why the Eight of Cups? Did you reject them on getting back together? Because this person is like, I want a new beginning. Can't we talk? Their feeling is that the two of you, if you had a conversation, could actually start over. Do you want to have this talk with this person? Because their action is definitely coming your direction. So with the Ace of Swords, establish your boundaries before this person comes in because it's going to be a meeting of the minds. You're going to have to be very assertive. It's a blockage. Five of Cups. They regret walking away from you and now they want you to take an apology. Oh, you know, I was confused and I'm no longer. Seven of Cups is all of the cups all up in the air and one's got a, a hidden choice. So this is seeing somebody for who they truly are, taking the icing off the cake, finally being more grounded and making a decision where everything had been up in the air. They want there to be more sense of everything and this would be an apology. They feel like the shit has hit the fan and they're not happy with it. They might feel like you're rejecting their, can we get back together though? So let's see what your thoughts are. There we go. Okay, you want them. You want them with a condition. I will take you back under a few conditions and let me name them for you because you still have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. You still feel a little bit slated and it's like you, you want a rapid change. You're thinking that if this person thinks that it's going to be a drive by, it's not going to happen like that, but you still have feelings for them. They're definitely being bold and confident. I'm going to hit you up. Are they just that good in bed? Are they? Can't help yourself. Mm. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Knight of Wands reversed. Is this person thinking that you're a player? Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Ooh, why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? They fantasize about something else and being in a different connection or not being connected to anybody else. They're in Fantasy Island. Why the Ten of Pentacles for feelings? High Priestess. They got somebody on the outside of the home because the Ten of Pentacles would be the happy home and the High Priestess, when it is there, can mean another, pe another people involved here. Oh, devil you. Why the King of Pentacles? It's almost like, you know what? What I do on the side is my fucking business because this is somebody that wants you to think that everything is, is clear and that there's clarity and that everything's going fine. What's the blockage? They never offer this. T they don't offer. One more. King of they're cold and shitty. It's time that you're never going to get what you want from this person. It's almost like they feel if they provide for the household, they feel like they're entitled to do what they want. I'm being responsible. I'm giving you security. I pay the fucking bills and I'm going to do whatever I want moving forward. This is the reality. That's what they're, that's their action. I'm going to give you the reality, but this is, it's like, it's time for arts and crafts because it's time to give up on this person ever changing. They're not going to change and they think that they can step out, play games. How do you see this person? Judgment. I shall judge you. You don't trust them. You don't trust them. They have emotionally let you down. You could feel like they're an emotional manipulator too, but this is making you moody. It's like, you want you want another chance with me? I, over my dead grandmother's fucking dirty asshole. <laughs> I mean, not happening. What is the likely outcome? Justice. Well, three of wands, it's going to be your call because do you miss this person? You want them to come at you right and take accountability for their actions. That can be what's happening here. Are they going to change? Because this is, that's the card of the man looking out at the ships are coming in. All right, we're taking a new direction and things are going to be different and you're waiting to see if this is going to go anywhere. So it's kind of like a, I'm going to wait it out see how things progress but this would tell me that you're still willing to give this person a chance 
even you, though you only get surface knowledge about what they're doing when they're not home. I feel like this person's like a secret salesman of bullshit. Just saying. Because it's like, I'm going to pound the sunshine right up your tush. Yeah, I think you're full of crap, buddy. I don't know that you necessarily have enough proof, but with the high priestess reversed, you definitely have a feeling. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Wands. The magic. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Why the Queen of Swords? All right. They feel stuck on you. They're being serious and everything. So in their mind, they feel like they have been giving to this connection. They feel like there is stability to be had with you. It's called wanting things to be even. This is somebody that is willing to pass up. I mean, this is initiating contact, making a move, and the fool would be, let's try or reattempt. So what's the blockage? Do you not see getting or taking this person back? The Two of Swords is basically like stalemate. Six of Cup is thinking about the past and the, the potential of this person coming around. This would be you saying, no, ixnay on the XA. One more for your thoughts. You feel like they're a fucking clown, an asshat. Somebody that goes the wrong direction, they're a candy ass. Well, okay, if they're thinking this way, I have paid my dues and the fucking house is mine type crap. I'm just saying, just saying. This is somebody that is like fear being cut out. They are stressed that they're going to get their ass ripped into by you. I don't, I don't like it. Clarify blockage. You never know what to expect from this person and they kind of quit and give up instead of having your back and putting the file go the whole nine yards I won't give up on us it's like they let go of some of the burdens and they're not responsible all the time doesn't mean that they had to have stepped out but they they think that they, they deserve to be with you and that the two of us are going to work it's almost like they're pushy and you're kind of going, idiot, you went the wrong fucking way. You're a goddamn coward. You never seem to be able to make up your mind, but you still have feelings for this person, possibly. Because that's thinking about the past. This can be this person comes back and you're saying, not happening. Please go the fuck away or I will run you over with the chariot. I think you th there's a lack of clarity here. You need to be able to see more clearly. Because a star re reversed is somebody that's like a lack of faith, a lack of hope, daydreaming about things that you know are no good for you. This would be not interested in the devil. And then there's that six of cups that's reversed, which you had the six of cups here. Dwelling on the, dwelling on the past isn't going to get you anywhere. Be careful what you wish for is what I'm going to tell you because this can be somebody that, oh no, I'm making this happen. We're going to start over. Everything's going to be... But they jump in blindly. And you never know what to expect from them and they give up too easily. Why Why did they get away with giving up too easily? That ain't right. Maybe you need to lose a little weight, like 200 pounds worth of it, and detach yourself from the connection. Slowly try to get over them. Because this would be somebody that feels like the relationship is too weak. And they don't want the burden. I don't. I don't like it. it if it makes sense to you, uh, I don't know. It didn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me. But there's something not right with that person. It can just be the third temptation. Hard to turn down. All right, let's call it the majors for you guys. Scorpio. Now we're getting two from the foo foo deck. What the foo is the problem deck? Yeah, that one. Virgo. Look at, look at, look at, look at that. This is somebody that likes makeup sex too. I'm just telling you, that was your fire signs. Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Aries, Cancer, 
serious with that Queen of Swords, man. Better That person better watch what they say to you with that Queen of Swords energy. Because if they tell you anything that's not the truth, the Queen of Swords knows. You know it's bad for you, yet you continue. Start acting like the boss ass bitch that you are yeah take the take the reins of that chariot and go whoosh, and not take any shit um be careful with somebody trying to come back from the past that's that's wanting to be back for the, all the wrong reasons this would be the feeling sorry for yourself and possibly still tempted to take that person back but really think about it all right virgos that's what we have for you and i'm gonna go Libras. All right, we're using the pinup girl. That, look at that judgment that we picked here, which is going to go with the cards that flew out for you. So before I turn the camera on, because this deck is kind of a hard flipper and I like them to flip for your overall energy, you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Devil, and the Star. This is almost like I'm wishing for somebody to come back that I know is no good for me, that's a smooth talker, but you still have hope. So faith, your expectations is that the two of you are going to feel the same way about each other. Things will be even and everything will be happily ever after. It's kind of what it's looking like. Okay, let's jump in. All right, wait, 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 wait. The more I sit here and look at this, if you are single, this can be shared values with somebody that you meet at a gathering. Could be work-related. That would be like security. And the devil can be just a temptation that you're that sexually attracted. Lust. Or a Capricorn or an Aquarius. But this is meeting expectations and, ooh, the wish finally came true. But not so much if it's somebody from their past. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. Source. We're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Four of Swords, the Mega Bitch. Mm, it's like word vomit you guys have here. Okay, two came out. This person does not think that the two of you are over yet. They want to try to win you back. They still have hope that this connection can work. They don't feel, it's like they're afraid of letting go. How they feel is the Queen of Swords, why? They're missing you. This is somebody that knows that they need to face the music. Why the Four of Swords? Come here. Okay. They're worried about the timeout that the two of you are in right now. They're all up in their head. They feel like you basically have told them you need some space to think about things. What's the blockage? Came out sideways. I would say unwilling to change and lies and bullshit always go with unwilling to change, doesn't it? No, not always. This person goes the wrong direction. They're an emotional manipulator. I would be cautious with this one. If this is somebody from your past, this is somebody that's very good at manipulating. They're irrational. It's a dictator. They go the wrong way. They can be very forceful. But if they cause endings or semi endings where it's like they kind of leave you hanging they ruin things it's like failure to communicate and this would be sneaking off with lies and cunning and bullshit 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 i don't like the manipulation i don't like the feeling this so person can just come and go as they please they're a walking obstruction how do you see this person and then, okay You got, you got trust issues with this person. You don't know if you can trust them. Okay. The sex might be great. However, do you feel like this person is always looking for a success story? Like they're looking for... Their pride needs to be stroked. Their ego needs to be stroked. They hold back. Are you in a delusional state when you look at this person because there's a lot of confusion here and they aren't completely honest with you and it leaves you wondering... What's the likely outcome? Because I'm nosy. Okay. Happy celebration. So do you want that person back? I just feel like this person is very good at gaslighting. You need to take control of the situation if it's going to work. Do they miss you? Yes. But do they know that they have to... <sighs> they have to start meeting your expectations and being more honest or this is not going to work. But they are really in their head like, oh, I really fucked it up this time. Yes, yes, you did. They need to change. Even if it's baby steps. That could mean counseling. 
All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One more. Bit of a hurry, aren't we, White Hangman? They're waiting. In their mind, they are waiting. This person feels like the two of you didn't get off on the wrong foot or that they may have missed an opportunity, missed a chance with you. Wait a night. Yep. They, they know that they have been selfish and ignored your needs. And you got this person just, it's like they're almost jealous is what I'm feeling here. But in their thoughts... They lack direction, so they sit there and they, well, I know Libra thinks this, and I know Libra. It's like they're assuming the blockage. Temperance. They need to get with the fucking program. This is somebody that doesn't want romance. You would have to be extremely patient while this person heals. What they need to heal from, I'm not getting into. But it's somebody that is disappointing disappointed they they avoid any issues they're vain one more for black edge you're so vain you probably think these cards are about you they don't want to have to be reliable they also could be paying child support or something of that but there's like a lack of closure with somebody that they have been in a long-term connection with that is you this is somebody that, can we heal the situation? Their attitude has got to change. Is there still a chance? Yes. Yes, there is. But they can't take you for granted. And they can't have a big chip on their shoulder. And they can't just come in like yesterday was the last day you saw each other and everything's fucking honky-dory and starts from ground zero. It does not. And they're, they're feeling like you're kind of withdrawn and rejecting them and they might feel like the two of you just didn't get well if you just give me a second chance my intentions weren't bad but they might miss the boat because in their mind it's like i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting flick let them swing like a pendulum i think it was taurus i said make a human pinata out of them because it's almost like it's it's hard to get this person to open up and express themselves especially with this page here it's almost like I hold back because I'm a little shy about my emotions, but I'm just sitting there watching. It's like they take everything in and they just wait, trying to get a different perspective of things. We can give them a different perspective. We can go snip and they can see the ground straight up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I am happy. I'm just want to burst bubbles out of my butthole. Woohoo! Why strength? This person's got courage. Ooh, they're trying to make up their mind. Ooh, it's such a tough choice. They might feel like you don't see them as an option. Why the Nine of Cups? Because they think they would be happy with you. They are. Ooh, I'm going for the tower just to double, oh, double check. Yeah, no, this is somebody that you might actually work with, and it might be like. They're surprised or things that they've got chaos and they just had an ending and they're trying to make things, they're trying to move on from something that no longer served them. So they could have just had an ending and now they're like a pig and shit. No, yeah, they got a happy heart on for you. I'm going to try to make sure you guys can see at least some of this here. So they feel like this is a connection that can grow. They got the happy heart on for you. They have a lot of energy. They can see being with you. They would be happy, but they're kind of wondering if they made a move, if you would turn them down. How you see them. Well, you see them as somebody that would... <clears throat> You see them as somebody that's generous and, and you're willing to give them some of your time to see where things can go. This feels like, so, okay, the tower isn't always this tragic ending. Sometimes it can be sexual. Wow. Off the charts. You blew this person away. Uh, Three of Pentacles would say that it's like a shared goal and this person thinks that they would be happy to be with you. I mean, this is really nice energy except for this. I feel like they're a little bit unsure on if they should put the moves on you or they're just kind of waiting around. Like you got who's moving first. That's the 
do I move or do you move? It's almost like, okay, you can't see everything, so I hold back because I, I need to inflate my balls. I just feel like they need to take a chance and go for it. You're doing the same thing, though. Your energy at the bottom of the deck is the same as theirs. I don't want to make the first move. I'm afraid to, but somebody's got to open up communication, and then this goes like, boom, wildfire. Go for it. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, there's the uh, feeling of rejection again, but they want you back. I miss you. I think about all the memories that we had. I want to be rewarded. This person wants it. It's fucking, they want all the rewards that comes with independence and they hold back emotionally. Why the eight of cups? They're, they're feeling like you walked away from them in their mind and that they are disappointed or that they broke your heart. One more. Yeah. And so they're just trying to take things really slow. Did you reject them? Emotionally damaged them? They feel like damaged goods. The blockages, somebody gave up. Dropped about 200 pounds of weight. This was a, like... Possible separation, a legal issue here that did not go their way. They think about trying to make a positive change, trying to recover or have forgiveness, but this is somebody that didn't want the responsibility and it collapsed. And this is somebody that's like, nothing ever goes my way. Well, if you're a lying piece of shit, no, it won't. How do you see this person? Juggling and guarded. So it's like I you're being smart about it. You're being tough. You're you're kind of closed off to it. It's like my back's up against the wall. I don't want to be you're going back and forth about this. It's like I don't know how flexible I can be on this shit anymore. What's the likely outcome? What's the likely outcome? Unrequited, it's not gonna get off the ground, not if they act like this. I'm single, I could I'm good looking, I have you know the best perfume around. Look at me. I just reek of fucking luxury. I'm so secure in myself. Well then fucking stay by yourself. Because they're holding back. This is somebody that they have boundaries and they don't want to be open to love. They don't want to open themselves up to possibly get hurt, but it's like they cling to, it's like they grasp at things, but don't want to keep them. Selfish, stingy. Don't like it. Mm -mm. So we're going to go through the majors here for you guys. And then I'm going to get out the, what the fuck is the problem deck? So what are you guys doing? Singles or let me know. Let me know. We have a uh, Capricorn and Aquarius up there. Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius again, Pisces, Cancer again, Cancer again and again and again and again, Leo, 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 La. Aries, Scorpio, a lot of ups and downs in your energy, holy crap, Libra, you got your own card, all right, but they're all in there, so are you tempted, are you in lust? Lusting after somebody. You're with them again. That's your issue. Stop thinking negatively and watch how shit changes. Makes me want to pull another one. Work on your jealousy. Who's jealous? That's kind of my question. Who is jealous of you? All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Scorpios. All right, we're using the pinup girl deck. So the overall energy for you, you have the five of wands, the two of swords, and the ten of cups. That would tell me that you have feelings for somebody that you had this long-term connection with. That would be a connection that's healthy and decent. And it seems like there's been a bit of a banter between the two of you and disagreements. Five of wands can just be a little snivelly. It's like it's petty shit. But it makes you unsure exactly where you stand and nobody's budging. Nobody's moving, possibly not facing the... It's like waiting for answers in a timeout. If you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag. 
Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords. And Judgment. Why the Seven of Cups? All right, why the Ace of Swords for feelings, the world, and judgment. Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person, in their mind, everything's up in the air, but they do want to try to work things out. They want to put the effort into it. So in their mind right now, they might feel like they're not sure what to do or they're confused. How they actually feel, the world. We can start again, but I know that there's got to be a heavy discussion. It's like, I have this idea that we can try to, to work on things. Their action would be coming in with the clarification and what can we do to get rid of the blockages that are sitting in front of us? So what is the blockage? What is the blockage? All right. Not seeing eye to eye. One more. And the high priestess. The two of you need to be more open with each other. Somebody is not expressing themselves and keeping their thoughts to themselves. And it causes the other one to feel like there's something up. So it's like, what's wrong? Nothing. But but what's wrong? Not well. It, you know, if there's something wrong, you can tell me. It's this kind of energy. How do you see this person? Eight of Swords, Justice, and Page of Cups. Now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Star. That would tell me that you still have some hope here, but you have expectations too. It's like keep your promises. This would say that you, that you're not moving. That you don't see moving, that you feel like you're the victim here, that you feel like you've been shunned, and this person needs to take accountability for their actions, but there's still feelings here. They owe you an apology. That's how you feel. It's like, whatever's on your mind, I need to know about it, or it makes me have a trust issue. That's just, it feels like nothing. It feels like nothing major. This is your story. Maybe you need to open up and tell that person how you feel because this is looking like both of you have a stalemate and you've got this great relationship. Things should be good. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, stubborn. Not a, not a Libra. Did I say that? All right, Three of Wands actually did come out upright. The Empress. The Magician. Why the Three of Wands? For thoughts. The King of Wands. The Nine of Coins. And the Magician. We have the Chariot. Okay, this feels like new energy, I have to tell you. If this is somebody from the past, they are missing you. They want to move things forward, but they're waiting. This is somebody that wants to put the moves on you, but they're holding back a little bit. In their feelings, this is somebody that feels that they, they, if they stay single, that the two of you could still nurture this connection. And their action would be speaking up, coming your direction, trying with a lot of determination to make this work. But it does look like a single person. So if it's somebody from the past, what's the black edge? Four of Wands and King of Coins. The foundation was shaky. King of Pentacles reversed can be somebody that steps out of the equation and screws around. Yes, but the Four of Wands can be that this, the foundation needed to be more sturdy, that the two of you weren't seeing eye to eye or you gave each other stink eye. But the Four of Wands, it's like the, the connection was kind of rocky and it feels like somebody was triggered and then it broke the connection. It seems like it just kind of compiled and compiled and compiled on this person then or you didn't feel like things were secure where they weren't stable and kind of wondered what the hell to do how do you see this person eight of coins ten of cups you feel like they need to put more work into the connection it's like if you'd put more work into the connection there's a ten of cups upright had been good if you put the work into it, you want them to be more de dedicated. You want them to be more devoted and you're not budging until they are. You want proof. I want to see the work. Can you start over? Yes. But do you want to see that this person sees the big picture? Yes. What's the likely outcome? Six of Wands. We can get over this hurdle and there's the, a power couple here. Look at that. Where did my king go? Where did he go? There. 
King of Pentacles reversed. This is the support that the person that you care about is supposed to be offering. Can this change and flip this way? Yes. Does there need to be more communication? Yes. Does this person need to put more work into it as far as you're concerned? Yes. But can it work out? Yes. There's still hope. I'm still in it to win it. I still feel like things are going to move forward. I still feel like you're the right one for me. I feel like we complete each other. They just have to come at you right. And this would be somebody that their action is determined to make things work. The magician is movement. It's having everything that they need to make this work. And a lot of determination. So can this be better? Yes. Do they miss you? Yes. If you are single, hot to trot's coming for you. Coming for you. Coming for you. All right. How does it work out if it's singles? Ten of coins. Well, that could turn into something stable. You also could meet this person at a gathering or through work. But it is groups and clusters of people. Just make sure it's not an orgy. Okay. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Wheel of Fortune. The Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Why are they all up in their head? Oh, what a pity they got to make up their... Why the page? They need to fucking chill out. They're still healing. Okay, so you got somebody that's a little bit of a doggy donor. This is somebody that is still working on some healing. They got, you know, they are moving forward, but it's going to be a time thing with this person. How they feel, they feel like they want to open up to you, but they're having a little, it's, like, it's not them trying to be a drag. It really isn't. The four of coins is, I want to open up, but I'm still clinging on to security and they don't want to seem needy. So they're kind of just keeping to themselves. They're worried that you might kind of go wishy-washy on them or that you're going to pick somebody else. So what's the blockage here? They don't want to, they don't want to take a chance without knowing what's going to happen first. Well, that's fucking impossible. This is somebody that, or you, feels like I don't want it to be just sex-based and I'm not taking chances. How do you see this person? They would basically stroke your boat. I mean, you got, give it a chance. This is a, have some patience, both of you, you and this person. I would like to be happy. I see you for who you are. I feel like if we took our time, things actually could work out. I feel like this is to my advantage and my happiness, but it's like wish granted and, and you're probably both doing this. I'm not, this is not, I'm not screwing around here. I'm not fucking around. This is not, don't make a fool of me. I don't want to just jump in, take a chance, and this ends up going south. But the ace here just seems like it's, this person lost hope in the past and is fearful about moving forward. They don't want to get stepped on. They don't want to end up hurt. And they might feel like you have more than one option. They're worried about that. Don't treat me like an option. Oh, hush person. Stuff a cork in it. Just chill. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Swords. Why the Knight of Swords? All right. The Emperor and Death. Why the Emperor for feelings? Yeah person's not they're feeling sorry for themselves about an ending that's their action their thoughts they've got a big chip on their shoulder they're trying to love themselves why the ace this person has secrets that came out it's almost like everything has been expelled from the belly of the whale and now they they feel like, you are being stubborn and are basically rejecting them and don't want to talk to them. What's the blockage? Hangman. And the Ten of Wands. One more for blockage. Tower. This person wasn't offering what was wanted. Boom. Down came the Tower. A rude awakening. Didn't see it coming. Well, why? Somebody gave up. Ten of Wands. I dropped the burdens. I don't want to carry anymore. I'm sick of it. 
that's kind of candy ass pussy ish then you got the hangman for for a black edge that's just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing is result it's just like you're you're stuck in limbo this person's not making any moves they're not they're not uh committing one way or the other they're just kind of existing the hangman needs to shit or get off the pot it's like i'm not really willing to commit and then it makes you resentful and then they miss the opportunity because they're fucking stubborn and it looks like you, who gave up who called it done because the other way you're not offering what was needed how do you see them seven of swords <laughs> Fuck off, peasant. I've had enough of your shit. You've had it. You're like, you lying, sneaking bastard. I I knew I couldn't trust you. Seven of Swords, lying, holding back. Five of Wands, pretty self-explanatory there, don't you think? Petty bullshit games, competition, and I don't trust you. I never know what the hell to expect from you. You're here, you're there, you're all over the damn place, and you cannot commit. And this is somebody that is feeling sorry for themselves. Woe is me. We're done. But they're not doing anything to change anything. They're just sitting in their pity party on spilt milk. Does this person reach out? No. And if they did, it wouldn't be good anyway. Because look at that. The Hierophant Reverse. Still not willing to commit. That would be committing. Now we need to commit them. And I just feel like secrets came out and this person's got a big chip on their shoulder. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to call the majors out and then we're going to get the What the Fuck is the Problem deck out. You guys probably have the best reading, whether it feels like it or not. Aries. Sagittarius. Leo. Libra Taurus. Cancer. Libra again, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed signs, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, just love that card, it really is a tell-all, isn't it, yes, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again, geez, right in that order, Virgo, and Aries, all right, from Hita, from Hita, and from the what the fuck's the problem? You must be addicted to pain and stop over over analyzing shit. That's that eight of swords feeling. I don't want to move. I need to move. I don't want to move. I need to move. You need to flip this upside down and make up your mind. Who's going to budge first? This is like budge fest you got going on there. And whoever is on the outside looking in, it's none of their fucking business what you do with your choices. Don't let people get, play third party as in their opinion matters because it doesn't. It's you and the other person. I shall stop nagging. On we go. Sagittarius, we are using the pinup girl deck. Very cute little ladies here. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you don't like chicks or pinup girls. You have the overall energy. This is your energy that I picked first from a separate deck. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, Strength, and the Page of Cups. If you are single, this is somebody that you have a crush on and you feel like you're holding back a little bit and wondering if it's going to amount to anything you're trying to get the bigger picture why is this person possibly holding back but that's courage and it's also a card of i i pick you i pick you i want you to come here come hither it's like um i want to continue to to get to know you better but you're kind of feeling like you need to be patient or you're influenced by this person and this crush that is happening if this is somebody from the past this would be somebody that's holding back an apology and the fact that there still can be, if the person sees the bigger picture, things could actually work better. But them holding back, it's almost like you got a middle finger going on going, eh -eh, I'm not budging you. You come to me, you apologize to me because you're holding back. All right, let's see what we get. If you are dealing with another Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Okay, one more. Ooh. Why the Queen of Cups for thoughts? This person thinks you have a lot to offer. 
they want they feel that you might be a little bit guarded and they want to spend time with you get to know you possibly a reconciliation as well and they feel like you're not putting out just saying just saying so what's blockage somebody's not happy here the contentment is gone, and somebody just kind of gave up, was sick of being in their head about things. Okay, it, this is like rejecting. You have rejected me, I'm no longer happy, and fuck it. Now I have to face life with shame. But they want to open up communication. They're thinking that they can get you to forgive them. They know that they have to face the mega bitch, which is the queen of swords, and be very open and honest because the queen already knows. But this is an attempt at, I still have feelings for you. We can try to work things out. But their action, it's almost like they're holding back because they also could be a little bit obsessive about trying to get you to uh, make this connection grow. But there's a lot of passion. But are you rejecting them? How do you see this person? All right, one more. You are holding back, but it might be to teach them a little bit of a lesson because we are learning here. We're working together, but you got the emperor as well. This can be somebody that like you're, you're trying to control and hold back, even though you want to try to make things work, which is kind of redundant. How does this go forward? I mean, happy home. What the fuck are you two doing? You just need to, there needs to be more communication, more work put into things. You can't play games because this is somebody that actually wants to come towards you. They're playing a little bit of a game. This would say that you're playing a little bit of a game too if you're making them feel like you just want to be alone and you're withdrawing and not talking to them to teach them a little bit of a lesson. It's why, why, why do you need to do that? Because you want them to be more disciplined and fucking learn a lesson. That's a learning card. Got a lesson to learn, and I'm going to teach it. I'm kind of pointing my finger at you. Kind of. Because this person wants to come your direction. They want the sudden change. They feel like you should forgive them. They're hoping that you do. And you're kind of acting like a wounded animal at the fucking zoo. Don't touch me. I don't know. There's still feelings here. And they want to come back home. Okay, there's a little word vomit. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius taking at the order that it came out and this came with it all right now the four of cups reversed interesting why the devil this is somebody that is a bit obsessed they feel like they, they have to it's almost like they're overprotective of you and the connection like they're a bit obsessive but this is somebody that in their mind that the two of you can get beyond things and they they want you to stop feeling sorry for yourself or pick happiness or change change your mind it seems like somebody that has basically changed their mind their action they they think it's a mystery if you're going to be interested it's a blockage somebody make a bad choice i mean this is not feeling like there was trust here at the very least possible bad choices possibly a greedy motherfucker that decided that they could go and play chauvinistic asshole somewhere else but they can be very possessive of the person that they love and then that makes you feel trapped how do you see this person how do you see them they make you feel stuck And you keep thinking about the past. You're trying to love yourself right now. Is this person obsessed with controlling you? Just be cautious because they might have one more like ace up their sleeve. And this is somebody that's definitely confident that they can have their way with you. But at the same time, I feel like they're keeping something back. And it can be that they feel like you're kind of avoiding them right now. But this is, you would be avoiding them. Feeling helpless. It's like I'm, I'm stuck in the past and returning to trouble and I need to love myself more. I feel like this is not going to be moving the direction they think because your energy is going, uh-uh, holding back. 
y'all owe me an apology. And it just seems like you're kind of conflicted about what to do with this person. So I don't know what to do with you. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have the Magician. Oh, the Hanged Man. King of Swords. Don't like that shit. Why the King of Swords reversed? Ah, this person's going to try to manipulate you. It's like they're planning their first steps to get you to possibly change your mind. Why the Magician? For thoughts. Okay, why the hangman? For feeling. They feel like you're going to make them fucking work for it. This is somebody that's like, I want another opportunity. It's a day of reckoning. I have purpose, but you're making me wait. They're all hung up about being right. The blockage is this person just jumps in recklessly. And then they ended up fucking it up. Death. Kick or death. Reckless, careless, foolish, gullible. That could be you with the gullible. And then things need to change. Things need to be let go of. This person could have stepped out on you. Their idea is I'm going to come in with an apology and everything's going to be fine. But do we need to treat them like a human pinata? They're trying to get you to open up your thoughts. No, you're not digging it. You're kind of like, uh, you hurt me. You hurt me, possibly juggled you. This also can be a connection that's been going back and forth. But is this person kind of like partially narcissistic in their tendencies? What's the likely outcome? A lot of up and down here. Likely outcome? Well, it's a lot of hard work. Nah, I don't feel like you're digging it though. That would be rejection. And this person could have abandoned you in the past. And you're having a hard time imagining that they're not going to do the same thing. And this can be why you're kind of sitting on the fence. I don't want to get hurt again. Kind of back and forth. I don't want to get hurt again. Maybe we should use them. I think it was Taurus. Go watch Taurus because we had human pinata there too. But this person feels like they're in the right. We're going to do this. Stop, stop making me wait. I have a different perspective. No, 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 you don't. You're an asshole. You're a controlling asshole, but they figure that if they put, you know, they come forward, they desire to apologize that everything is going to manifest their direction. And I say they have another thing coming. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Boom. One more. All right, they want to they want to try to make things work again. They feel like they're they're bitter, but they feel like they're at the absolute dead end exhaustion. You've betrayed me. You want nothing to do with me. And you might have shut the door and changed the fucking keys. Can be somebody that lacked or needed to pay support elsewhere, but they feel like you're rejecting them and they don't feel like the two of you are done. They don't feel like they have closure. What's the blockage? Emotional ADD. The blockage can't be, seriously cannot be, that this person and you, well, it can, that this person and you have different idea and different beliefs. Like you believe in them keeping their zipper up and they believe in having another notch in their belt. They lack quality. They have emotional ADD, possibly not able to. This would be not able to commit. How do you see them? You don't know what to do. You're conflicted about this. It's like somebody, you got, you got budge fest going on in your heart. Because it's like, I would like to give this another chance. I would like it if they, if I was... If they shared more with me, I don't want to be breadcrumbed. I want this person. I feel like we're a good good couple, but at the same time, I can't see what to do. I don't know what to do. So this would be saying, I'm not choosing to be breadcrumbed by this person that I have feelings for. What is the likely outcome? Some, well, the sun will come out. That would be avoiding the ending. 
or are you dodging a bullet? So keep that in mind because if this person resists change, there needs to be a change. This is contentment. It's also seeing somebody for who they truly are as well. Take it how it resonates because this is confidence and truth and and virility and happiness and possible pregnancies. Just sticking that in there. But this can be that you're avoiding a major disaster. Sometimes it's better to let Big Fest just go. But it does look like things go better. But if you have to keep your eye on this person constantly and you're... And you feel like you have to watch them and their phone and spy on them. It's going to make it very difficult to trust this person. I just feel like there's a little bit of a jealousy issue going on here. And it needs to stop. And this person needs to... I'm not over you. I have feelings for you. Not, we're done and poor me. You've changed the locks. You home wrecker. That's not going to help. And feeling rejected and yet I don't I don't know what to do about this because I feel empty without you there's no closure here they feel like abandoned like you have rejected them and I'm not saying that you're playing games but you're just kind of unsure what to do that's a major stalemate but they want to try to make things work all right let's call out the majors for you guys but it does look like you are holding back from somebody that actually wants to try and apologize. It's like, what, is the apology too small? Yeah, very well could be. I'm sorry. Next sentence is, when am I moving back in? That kind of shit? Not okay. All right. Gemini. Pisces. Cancer. Ah, come here. Capricorn. The devil was trying to hide. Leo. Aries. Virgo. Eh, eh, come out, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Aries, your majors are trying to hide. Those are the big dogs. we got to have those. Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio again. Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed signs are in there. And Leo at the top with your overall energy. But I do feel like you guys are holding back your own new beginning. All right, from the what the fuck. Same story, different day. And your archangels are constantly shaking their heads and probably drinking. All right, Saggies, you guys confused me a little bit. If that resonated, please let me know. On we go. Capulets, we are using the pinup girl deck to get your general energy. You guys have, I did this before, I turned the camera back on because they don't flip out as fast. So in my little pinup deck here, we have the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups. Now, this is somebody from their, from your past. It's a, hey, I want to get in your pants again with some makeup sex. If this is somebody new coming your direction, definitely sexually interested, very curious, wanting to conquer you. But it could be a new beginning of something and you could meet this person out and about. It would be something that they would consider, hey, let's go out for drinky treats. They want something to celebrate. Bottom of the deck that I chose for you, you got the Queen of Wands. So you got a few spiders on your face. We got to wipe off here. But this is getting the attention that you deserve. Being confident, feeling attractive, being in bold pursuit. Let's see what we get. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source. Ten of Wands reverse. This person's thinking, I give up. Why? Why do you give up? Because it's too much of a fucking headache. What do they feel? Done. Stick a fork in them. They're holding back. Action. They're trying to heal. They're trying to move forward. Five of Cups. They do miss you, however. What is the blockage here? They got their regrets. Four of Wands. Six of Cups. They're stuck in the past. It's like, okay, Four of Wands. That can be out at a celebration, by the way, and freedom as well. And the Six of Cups reverse would be bad memories. But they're, they're giving up. They, they possibly feel like you have shunned them and they are holding back and they are allowing this ending. They do miss you, but they're just trying to heal right now. How do you see them? And swords, you're done with their ass. Yeah, you pretty much said, I need a break from you right now. I do not trust you. You are a little manipulator. 
and you're immature and you have a fragile ego that needs to be stroked and I'm, I'm not digging it. It's got you feeling insecure about them and you're just done. I've had enough of this. I'm changing my whole MO, everything. But you basically said this relationship is right now done. So you might need to think, but they, they do. They like, fine, I give up. You've shunned me, but they're not moving, not doing nothing. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Coins. The Page of Swords. The Emperor. Ultimately, I feel like this person wants things to go somewhere. Right now, they're up in their head going, now what? They're kind of going back and forth. They might have more than one person that they need to pick from. And they feel one more because that's an awful lot of they feel very much that the two of you could definitely go somewhere, but they want to take things slow. This is somebody that doesn't want they don't want sudden change. It, it's somebody that wants communication based on truth. They have a little bit of a trust issue. They ultimately want to have something long term, but they want to go very slow. How do you see them? Possibly a little bit too slow for you. Two of Wands reversed. And the Tower. You, you, you just aren't so sure about this. You're all up in your head. You're kind of going, I can't, I don't want this. You might call it quits with the Two of Wands reversed here. It's like, our personalities, you're indecisive. I, I don't like it. You're emotionally distanced. I don't feel like we're compatible. Fuck you. Fuck you. But you're up in your head about it. What's the likely outcome? I mean, it, it's like they're making you wait for that commitment. Seven of Cups. It's confusing as hell. You might just call it a day and continue walking because this would be, I'm done. I've, I've got my closure. Scary zombies ahead. I don't want to deal with them. Seven of Cups. It's all up in the area. You confuse the shit out of me. I don't know what you want. But this person's like, I don't know. I don't know what I want either. Ultimately, I want something long term. But it's like, and they feel like you could be the right one. But they're fucking holding back. So they're going to end up stabbing themselves in the foot. Or shooting it in the foot. Whichever. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles reversed. With judgment. Queen of Wands. Well, I don't like this shit at all. Why the Queen of Cups? Okay. This person is uh, going a completely different direction. They walked out on you who is offering love and stability in the whole shit. And it looks like they feel like you've basically judged and juried their ass because they're not faithful. Clarifying the blockage. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the Ace. Okay, Ace of Swords reversed as somebody that is lying or omitting the truth or one hell of a nasty confrontation. The wheel of four. Oh, poor me. Nothing ever goes my way. And the sun reversed is like clouded vision. And they're taking their ass somewhere else and playing with the queen of wands. Well, if you, you would be the queen of cups. They walked away from you. They made their choice. They made their bed. They lie in it. It's a likely outcome. Come here. Six of wands. There is no apology from this person. They're an attention home. That's all they want is attention from other people. They're a heartbreaker. So they can piss off. Piss off. You are you're standing your ground with your pick here. You got a nice pick. Let's just say you got a nice pick. Not tolerating any more shit. You got your walls up. You're, you know, defensive. You're you're digging into your it's like these are my boundaries and fuck you. Makes you feel like you lost a battle, but you're sticking up for it. It's like, I'm not going to be vulnerable to your bullshit anymore. Not going to do it. Ain't, ain't going to happen. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of coins. Give me a chance. Two of swords. Justice. Okay, they want to come at you with uh, some 
Give me a chance to show you the difference. Why the two of swords for feelings? Four of cups. They feel like you aren't interested in trying again or that you have made up your mind that they can piss off and they want to come at you with the right action. I will make up for what I've done. I still have hope and faith. I will make promises. And this just looks like this person wanted their fucking space and they chose to be by themselves or you're choosing to be by yourself and you're saying, I'm out. How do you see this person? All right, you found out some, some secrets and you weren't very happy. They went in a different direction. They chose somebody else and they're a fucking player. You're you're not you're not okay with this. I see you for who you truly are. I'm not gonna be anxious about this shit anymore. You went a different direction with somebody else and could have been an ex. But the three of cups? Oh, you went out partying and you accidentally fell into a vagina? My bad. Sorry to hear about your penis. Sucks to be you. I don't hope you get crabs. But this is not feeling like you trust this person and you're trying to just chill out and let it go candy ass you feel like they took the easy way out this person's going you made up you made up my mind for me well yeah i'm not interested in your shit anymore and they feel it they're sitting there in a pity party going but but no 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 I feel like you're choosing to ignore them and you're reflecting on what you need to and you're taking a break from love, generally speaking, so that you can move forward into clearer waters. And this person's like, but give me another chance. And you're going, not happening. Not happening. Ouch. Well, they might deserve it. Singles look good, though. All right. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Scorpio, heavily. Aries, Libra, Taurus. Leo, Scorpio, Belbiv, Devo, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, and Leo again. All right. It does seem like somebody new is coming your direction. You might need to get out of the house with some friends so that you can have something to celebrate. Okay. You did this to yourself. Find some peace and quiet. Oh, I definitely think you are. And you refuse to believe it's true. I think that's pointed at your ex. They refuse to believe it's true. Tough shit. They did it to themselves. All right, my Capulets, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Aquarius, we are using the Pinup Girl deck for your energy separate from your actual read. So you guys got the Age of Sexy Swords. The chariot and the world. This is looking like you are stressed out about moving forward where you should have more determination. This is like, I'm going to start over. But at the same time, are you afraid of doing so? It's like, I, I don't want setbacks. Uh, you're a little bit maybe overthinking things. Possibly have some trust issues moving forward. But it does look like you have a new beginning. The chariot is forward, forward, forward movement. Heavy Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Cancer. Let's see what we get. We're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. Came out kind of sideways. I'm going to take it that way. All right. Why the Five of Cups cockeyed? This person misses you and still has feelings for you. They feel like you're putting them in limbo. Why do they feel like you're putting them in limbo? And they think they can fix this really quickly. They feel like, if I come in, I'm going to fix everything. I have a lot of willpower. Yeah, and you can be blowing off a bunch of huffy puffy smoke too. What's the blockage? They don't want to commit, but they want to recover you and the connection. What the fuck is that? It's hard to take this person seriously if they're constantly rebelling and they don't have the same norms and values as you do and they ignore what? The wake-up call? One more for blockage. Mm. 
They don't want to be responsible. Okay, so you go this way here. I don't want to be married. Possibly already is married or in another connection, but boy, they miss you. However, they feel like, oh, did you tell them that they have to get out of another connection before they can be with? How do you see this person? How do you see this egghead going the wrong fucking direction and needing to apologize? You're like, you know what? I need a resolution here. You need to shit or get off the pot. You have no control, you powerless candy ass pussy. They might have also apologized to somebody else, but they feel... Like you changed the locks on their ass. But this to me seems like somebody that could have been in another connection. And kind of manipulative. I'm manifesting it. No, you're blowing hot air. What's the likely outcome? They're still curious. But they're not committing. That or they are in another connection with a loveless, loveless connection. Who cares? Not your fucking problem. Not your problem. They don't get to play cute and all... I'm fresh and I smell good and I want your attention. If they're supposed to be staying in... No. No. But they're in a hurry to try to get back together or with you, period. They have to get a separation first. They have to end things before they can move on in by you. Might be dodging a bullet with that one. The tower reversed. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Justice. Back at the Hall of Justice. I'm struggling. Why do we have petty bullshit for thoughts, feelings? They're going back and forth on what they want to do. They feel like the two of you, both of you, have been a little bit on the petty side. They also might feel... Like there was a conflict about the ending here. They still have feelings. Why the Ten of Cups? Because they're trying... They're going to end up dissatisfied. Unhappy because this would be like wish fulfilled at a cost. And they aren't liking it. What's the blockage? They cannot just come and go as they please and be an, an asshole. The King of Swords can be a real asshole. Very disciplined. You are going to we're going to have a we're going to have this back together and and you're going to welcome me back. No, I'm not going to welcome you fucking back if you took off if you took off in the first place and you were a manipulator, why the fuck would we want to take your ass back? How do you see them? Tension hole demanding You've had a, an awakening are you dodging that bullet? That's what's coming out here. Are you willing to give to this person? Do you feel like they gave evenly to you? Or do you feel like you got breadcrumb by this person? Only you know. There should be giving and receiving in this. This is um, a wake-up call. This is somebody that could have stepped out of the connection. Could have been uh, some jealousy issues going on here. As in they made you feel jealous. Somebody that likes to uh, consider nobody else's feelings and has a conceited hidden agenda but you might have dodged a bullet here and they feel like the only way that they're going to get back in is with conditions like rules heaven forbid but they're conflicted on whether they want to be done or not they're they're going back and forth trying to decide if they want to come to you and face the consequences take accountability well if they have to go back and forth about this really you can't make up your fucking mind well you know i'm kind of iffy well, if he, you, they don't like rules. Well, rule breaker, suck an egg. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Action. Ooh, lights, camera, action. Oh, yes, lights, camera, action. This person you could meet online. It's a sudden change. It's something very exciting. Bottom of the deck, it looks like you would be interested this would be somebody that is uh, possibly a bit quick to get in the sack with you, but they're exciting and fun and pursue you with pleasure. This is somebody that it seems like it happens really suddenly and very fast and they just go for it. Might need to travel to come see you, can be work-related. This person feels like if the two of you 
worked on this that it could really be like shared goals and they're kind of waiting it out they're looking forward to looking forward to having a new beginning all right how do you see this person it feels single Ooh. all right you might feel like this can go somewhere if you can trust them so you're kind of iffy too bottom of the deck of the sun happy happy joy joy so we're going to pawn some sunshine up your ass because this is having some confidence and being in complete bliss. I mean, uh, you can't you can't shake this shit out and make it worse. It's nice. I just feel like you've got a little bit of iffy energy here going. Is this person going to stick around? However, go slow. This can be a soulmate, but it's definitely love or working into a connection. And you're kind of going, is this going to pay off? So you're a little bit afraid of things not, you're going to, they're going to have to be patient with you where they want to jump in. Woohoo! They might, they might realize that they have to come at you gently. And they, I mean, they see the future out ahead of them. They're looking as in foresight and growth and expansion. This looks nice. We like it. We're leaving it there go for it all right Taurus Virgo Capricorn King of Cups I think with my head and my heart uh, a little insecure though holding back why the Empress reversed oh they feel like you are rejecting them did they give you a reason to be rejected it's a lack of growth what is the blockage Bad memories. And this person acting like a fucking tyrant. So, while well, they should be this King of Cups energy here, where they're wise and tender and caring and devoted, it seems like they were stuck in the past. They were forceful, domineering, vicious, a flirt, a tease, somebody that makes you jealous, a cheater, take your pick. How do you see them? Mm. You don't know. Is this temporary or not? It's like, yeah, you're good looking, but you make me nervous. Is this all an illusion? It's a likely outcome. Give it some time. This one is, it's almost like you, you have to accept something. Let's get one more. You're a power couple, though. So can things go better? Yes. Do they need to take you seriously and come at you with the truth? Yes. Or you'll rip their head off, shit down their neck. But there still is hope and faith here at trying to reach a resolution. It's just you need some time. Because this way would be, I don't want to see you. I don't know. Just not happening. I, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not interested. This would be... If you reach out after you give me some time, I will think about forgiving you and maybe we can work things out. So this person's waiting like they're supposed to be, kind of like you told them they had to. But this would be possibly secrets and you're wondering if they had gone somewhere else or if they just took their free spirit and like they need to open up more and be more honest and they can't act like an asshole. But right now, they feel like this isn't growing because you're rejecting them. Well, I might deserve it. And if they do, and if they do, so we have heavy cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio, heavily, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, get lots of Cancer, Taurus, okay, and now we're going to get to the what the fuck's the problem deck and see what we have for you, don't be stupid, they're taken or married, oh, 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 stop sabotaging your manifestations, if somebody's taken or married, run away, because who's going to win out? The side piece or the significant other? Especially if there's children involved, who's going to win out? All right, enough nagging. I'm going to go.
Pisces, my wonderful cupcakes. We are using the pinup girl deck just for your overall energy. You have the Ten of Swords, the Star, and the Page of Pentacles. Now, this could have been like feeling a defeat or having an ending or things needing to change, but there is still hope. This also can be healing, possible new promises. This is also possibly meeting somebody new and learning, getting to know somebody better. And I would say looking forward instead of backwards. Bottom of the deck, you have a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, very nice. I mean, it's something tangible. Opening new doorways, positive investment in the future. Could be a new home, could be a new job, but it's a new approach. So let's see what we get. Improvements nonetheless. Aries Leo Sash, source. I'm dealing with a fire sign. God help you, because I'm one. Six of Coins. the chariot and the three of cups now if this is somebody from the past they want to try to work things out this is somebody that they feel determined and in their mind they still like they deserve a second chance if this is somebody new they want to take you on a date blockage for this person from the past king of pentacles seriously five of wands when we reverse it, is actually a possible, you took a breather, you needed some space, you took yourself off the roster, you weren't playing any games, you needed to cool down, vice versa. Now they possibly want to apologize for their actions, take responsibility. Did you tell them to fuck off though? I gotta know. How do you see this person? Three of, okay. So you're willing to see if they're going to put the work into it. you got the Three of Pentacles. If you put the work into it, we could get on the same page and this could work. I mean, they, they one more for feelings. That's just, just determination. No, they, they want the faith back. So here's faith, here's faith, here's determination, here's an attempt at a reconciliation. Here's trying to make things even, but they do feel... In their mind, the two of you deserve to try again. And if this had been this person saying, fuck you, I'm not going to commit. Or somebody that had been in another connection that you told them I'm not going to be an alternative. They need to change things up, make it different. But this does look like you would like to try with this person. Okay. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Gemini Libra Carrier, right? Holding back, why? All right, just had an ending or they're done with you. Feelings, seven of coin. I don't know what the fuck to do with myself. Okay. They are confused on what to do. You've got this person scratching their balls. They want your attention, but they don't know if they can get it. They might think that you have other choices. What's the blockage here? It's a timing, timing issue, and nervous. They, they, this person has no idea if you're going to give them another chance or a chance to begin with. But this is somebody that they've been through the mill, and they're they're waiting and hoping for change, but they're they're holding back, and it can be because they're not sure that you're interested. How do you see them? Four coin. Okay, you, you feel like you need to get their shit together a little bit, be a little bit more open. So it's like, we can spend time together, see if we gel. This can be that the two of you have very opposite personalities, and it's like, you just need to give this a little time to see, but you, you feel like they need to open up, or they need to let go of the past. How does this move forward? A new chapter. Oh, hallelujah chorus this person is holding back though and you are a little bit agitated by it so they're kind of like this is this going to pay off is this going to be nurtured are you willing to be open to this yes yes but they need to wait heaven forbid they don't get to see you in your pretty lingerie yet that's all they have to wait wait heaven forbid we make somebody wait for some nookie all right Take it up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Hermit reversed. Page of 
Oops. A hanged man. Oh, they're unhappy. They can't see clearly. They want you back. If I apologize, can I have you? Why the hanged man? They're waiting. They could be talking to your friends to try to get advice. I want to just kind of put that out there. And this person feels rejected. You got two cards of being rejected. Eight of Cups. I just walk away and you don't care anymore about me. Broken promises can be in here as well with the star reversed. Maybe they were booted out, but this is somebody that didn't see clearly or they had depression issues and basically decided that they were going to end up by themselves or lonely and now they feel differently. So their thinking is negative, but they feel differently. I feel like I want your attention. I feel like you're attractive. I want to pursue you. I have an apology. This person might have been hopeless. Did you did you turn them away? I feel like I've done everything that I could do. It's and they're kind of a damn doggy downer. How do you see this person? You feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. You feel like it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm using my intuition and I just am not going to jump into anything without being 100% sure that I know you for who you truly are and that you're offering a new beginning because I have issues too. So you're just not trusting this person because the four of swords you've taken an emotional vacation and you are using your intuition to basically tell this person to back off a little bit you need some more time and they're all wham wham about it well, i'm going to talk to your friend well fucking go ahead my friends will be nice and honest with you but in their head they they might see you being in a depression and wanting to be alone too this can be your depression that they're seeing, but it's not seeing clearly and it's not exactly what they'd hoped for. I mean, they would almost be okay if it was like, yes, things will go well, we'll be happy, but I just need a little bit of space. Don't bring your fucking toothbrush over. I just need, I need more space. I'm somebody that needs, you got to go slow. And they're like wanting to jump your bones. It's like no bone jumping or we stuff a sword down your throat. Just saying. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Knight of Swords. One more for dots. Okay. Knight of Cups. This person and you have had a separation. Now they are starting to change their mind. And guess what they want to do? They want to come back. They are curious on whether you would allow it. What is a blockage? All right, one more for blockage. Who stepped out of the connection and was supposed to be responsible? Stepped out on somebody that is supposed to be responsible. The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing card. And this would say this person ripped your heart right out of your chest. And now they're like, I, I want you to take me seriously, but they're blowing hot air because they don't want things to be over between the two of you. There's been a timeout and they have changed their mind. This person wants to apologize for their actions. Could have been a third party and we're looking at a manipulator. How the hell that got reversed, I don't know. But look at what's right underneath of it. Five of coins. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with my manipulation and games. If they can't behave, they fucking can't behave. They think they can come back. They've changed their mind. They're going to apologize. But is this somebody that thinks that they can come and go and ghost you and then come back and, and reabsorb their ass prints on, on your couch? It's a likely outcome. Death with the devil. Loving yourself more. Standing up for yourself. So as hard as it might be to turn this person down, because this can be an addiction, a love addiction, make promises to yourself. If you had an ending with this person, have faith in yourself and try to get to know new people. Talk to your friends if you need advice. But this would be saying avoiding, not avoiding the ending, avoiding the devil, because they can be very, very, very persuasive. And it's tempting this person can be a real charmer but the seven of wands is telling you 
let it go. Seven of Wands would be like, uh, keep your walls up, keep your defenses up, dig in your feet, and stand up for what you believe in. Don't, don't compromise your, don't be too vulnerable, don't compromise your, the, that word is just slipping my mind. Don't compromise your values, don't compromise your boundaries. That's the one I'm looking for, for the devil. Can just be a Capricorn, but this is more like self-love is needed here. Not the devil. We don't need the devil. But is this person in another connection or had screwed around on you and they're trying to avoid the ending and they're, they're thinking is I'm jaded and they're an asshole. They're an asshole that can be manipulative and now they change their mind and they want you back. Well, why did you not want me in the first place? Did you fucking get bored? Because I'll tell you what, Four of Cups, when it is upright, can be boredom. And the King of Cups reversed can be somebody that steps out of the connection and breaks your heart. And now they want to go this way on you. Well, I feel differently now. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Do you need a medal or a chest to pin it on? Seriously. We know what we have for them. One of those. Just saying. All right. It's telling you to try to heal before you make any decisions. If an ex comes back and tries to open up communication before you see them or meet with them, you need to know what you want your answer to be or you will cave. Just saying. All right. Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Leo... Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, heavily, Capricorn, do you guys see the nail polish? It actually turns colors. You see my middle, see the nails are not the same color. When it's cold, it's this color. And if my hands are warm, it does that. And it's actually, if my hands are into the hot water, it's completely, it's on Amazon. I'm like, I'm getting addicted to this mood stuff because I'm pretty sure if I had somebody in my life, it would probably save their life because they'd know if I was moody or not. I'm just saying. It's kind of fun. I like fun. You guys know I like fun. Scorpio. <laughs> I can't help it. Taurus. Cancer. All right. And like I said, if you had an ending with somebody, work on healing first. Before you, before this person changes their mind and they decide they want to come back, know how you feel before you give them the opportunity to open their cake hole. All right, you ask way too many questions. Baby, you let yourself get hurt. You are powerful now. Use your magic, biatch. Let's get one more. Oh, somebody's creating drama. I feel like it's your ex. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you, my cupcakes. Thanks for watching. Many blessings and hope to see you next time.